but if I knew that was available, I would have suggested like a J3 tour 1v1 fans. My, my tour. Because we're in Sweden. They're actually doing a walkout. <laughs> you know, at Burbank, all the fans would be like, Woo! Oh, they're probably going to get in each other's face. I thought I thought the I thought the things cut out. That's a beautiful city. It's the end of the road. We played a lot of matches, but you know after this match, the year's officially over. So because of that, you know you gotta put your all into it. This is the only match that really matters, you know, like, to win it all. I think he's like the only Swedish kid in this during this whole weekend. I've just always had dreams about playing on a stage it's in front of a crowd. Make it. Like being able to play like in a grand finals or like even winning a match on, on stage, that would honestly be a dream come true for me at least. Is today Sir Strowman Day? No, not today. <laughs> we still have plenty Never. of days to try the Sir Strowman. Never. In front of a big crowd. Who so knows? Maybe we'll get lucky tonight so and we come Probably across no a can. To describe it, you know, it's what everyone I'll make plays sure I'll take for. that can and throw it away. Really, the end goal. <laughs> I've got my parents coming. I've got my girlfriend. I've got some school friends have come along as well. So it would mean like it would mean so much to win in front of them and just yeah have the crowd cheering for us the whole time as well. We'll be in Sweden until the end of the month. We have a lot to show, and that I'm happy that we get to show it. We don't want to like, have any regrets, so it's definitely all or nothing. The Junker Queen comes in, and it's a triple catch. PBNT bleeding out, Bliss can't do too much. Twisted Minds exsanguinated. Grand Final and different things are different. If you win the game, you will remember the people. Playing in a grand finals match compared we're to other matches can definitely be yeah, like we're, a we're lot of do a fish involved in it. It's kind of like a do or die moment. Like, with mashed like the culmination of the whole tournament comes up to I this one moment and you sort of realize. You did predictions? I did. We all want to win. Everyone in the lobby, all <laughs> Good shit, I appreciate you. Yeah. five of them actually can. And Thank you. Shot. You know how to do it, you click that button, write the names, yeah. good shit, it's I appreciate so it. Easy. I was afraid anymore. that I missed everything up, but... It's, it's, oh, you did good. All, sad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all worked out. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Thank you. Like Thanks, Flair. Like. W, Emily. So, Better mod you know, than Flair. No excuse to leave anything on the table. Fight goes down to the death loss of an income nightmare. They're riding this one home, and NA's number two hits the haymaker. Space Station are one point away from getting eliminated. Space Station Gaming is demolished by Twisted Mind! 
이 벨로스 그랜드 파이널 경기를 했을 때의 소감은 이제 아무래도 이번 연도에 o w c s 가 처음 시작하게 되고 제일 첫, 처음으로 하는 큰 대회다 보니까 다른 대회를 했던 것보다 훨씬 기분 좋았어요. What's up, Wanton? How you doing? Who vs. Uh, Team Falcons against Crazy Raccoons? Basically the same thing that was like... Uh, I've always wanted to win a grand final, like on stage, like ever since that I was in uh, Dallas. Career, so, like that would mean a whole lot to me. It's something I really want to achieve this time. What? Excuse me? What did I just see? The first champion of the world is really good. The death boss is not fighting too much, but the blade definitely does. Oh, he just takes over the game time and time again. Get this show on the road. Make some noise for Falcons versus Crazy Raccoon. Oh, that's cool lighting. Holy. That is sick. How many people do you think you can bench? Three? Huh? How many people do you think you can bench? Probably I mean, it three. depends on the people. We set out this year with an ambitious project, a rebirth of Overwatch Esports, a truly open Oh, how many of these people could, could you bench? Anybody like, I don't know win. what you mean, yeah. Our two finalists have... Like, to the test of time. In game comes their way, Matt. One more question. <laughs> Who is the best? When are you coming back to America? Uh, yeah, December first or something, compete, I think. Like Brian, pre of six months. Uh, scripted, pre of five months. Spokey, pre of eight here months here as well. So good Jay can bench long, a lot. He can bench more than Zarya. That's true. And how much does Zarya bench? What's her total amount of lifts? Memories are short. What's her total amount of lifts? I don't know. The most vivid picture in our minds. Five twelve. Oh, five twelve. I think. Crazy Raccoon obviously oh, right. this out in hey, they managed to win that major and looked incredible oh, doing that's it. That's a lot. That's power. That's over a thousand pounds. Well, that's yeah. three lifts. That's it's your, so, so those oh, lifts are basically your deadlift, your bench, and your squat all combined. When the smoke cleared. You're still stronger than Zarya. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, she can only do it 512. Teams, that's that's light work. That's light work. Let's see, I could do, wait, 512 kg. I forgot I was in kg. That's a lot of weight. The first to fall I, get, I used to do, uh, and again, I used to do, okay, let's just right say 300 bench. Let's say close to 400 deadlift, so that's four, five, six, seven. I need like 300 on bench. No, I, I have like 200 and some, close to 300. Actually, my highest dead, my highest bench was close to 300. So yeah, that's what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's a thousand, but she still beats me. There's no way. Let's see this, let's see this. One more time! Crazy Raccoon and Falcons throwing down on Oasis. And we're gonna waste no time in getting into the action. You know, we Again, actually haven't had to learn much Swedish because everyone here is fluent in English. Let's get this. This is gonna be insane. This is basically what we just watched, chat. But instead of best of five, it's a best of seven. And it looks like Crazy Raccoon's already lost once. Remember, they lost in the the upper bracket finals. They had to go to the lower bracket, beat Toronto, and now they are here in the grand finals. So they have to, Team Falcons already beat Crazy Raccoons 3-0. So hopefully Crazy Raccoons can take a map. Crazy Pedro. Yeah. Nice. I wonder I wonder if they feel more pressure and more nerves on this game, even though it's just another game, compared to their, like, other games. I mean, that is back oh, they're for the sure more Yeah, because this is the finals, grand finals. So they have a few players that still linger there on Pedro, the Pedro, 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 Pedro
to Raccoon and hit him twice as hard. Proper dust ball, he's taking foul one to block them. He's like trying for some focus and being valued as Merc withstands it. Uh oh. Falcons are back in control. Oh, yeah, you have a little bit of advantage here for Falcons coming into the fight, right? You have the rally. Rally pretty impactful. Last fight with both support ults used by Crazy Raccoon. So they're trying to take an early fight, maybe get that rally out early, maybe catch a player off by surprise. Doesn't work. Point back in favor to Falcons. Big day for the Raccoons, but both their theories were short at least they walked up and ready to go it's going to be stopped for falling first lip playing from the outside the cardiac overdrive but it's time to go in geronimo's been stupid diving forward but it's nice nice come on lip come on lip come on he's saying nice this is going to be crazy if crazy raccoons wins see see what i did there in these fights Tip for tap, fight for fight. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going back and forth here. That's They're about to put the crazy in the this team, crazy raccoons. Man, I should be a caster. I'm hilarious. She just got his online. Never. Stalker also looking to probably do for Reaper. She get a free death loss. To no start available for Toronto though, with the rally. Here we go. Stalker drops in like Batman. Eventually wants to jump out, though. All the right thrown in. And that's tough to get damage on his day. He's going to do for Reaper himself, but has the right board basically straight away. Stalker repositions. Wants to force the back line away. And Smurf has the same idea. If we go, Toronto oh, shield pushed to its limits. He's able to stay alive. Nice! Wow! That was insane. That was nice, but I, I feel his team is all gone. Now he's just going to die. Still, that was really good. That was a good play. If he was able to do that, come back and save his team, that would have been insane. Team Falcons doing a nice job separating the supports from the rest of the squad. Looks the point. Strong gets such a little old charge from that fight. He's when I digress. Pace fight early. He stays going to the focusing beam straight away. Oh, that's smart playing with inside of his uh. So Lip has to push a little bit harder for these picks. Chew is down. Strong got a little bit too much. Oh, Lip didn't know what he did. This feels like the numbers now. This feels like the only fight that we've seen. Lip got outplayed by Stalker. Right, and may end up just stopping everything. There's not enough time here for Crazy Raccoon. He'll be attacked from his tank. He gets there. Recalls the whip drop rock out. He doesn't have any blinks. Damn. Oh, someone still touched. I think they, I, they can't touch again. Wow. That was the first round, too. That doesn't even feel like the first round. That felt like... Better from Crazy Raccoon. That felt like they were fighting the championship right there. Wins the first round here. No, they actually tried to use John Ben's cage, right? Get around the corner, maybe trap somebody right away, burn him down, like turn the corner and nobody's home. Everybody from Falcons kind of went out the upper, opposite side of the door through where that is health Sombra pack is. You end up getting a kill meta? early no, on. No, we were watching Sombra players, up, remember? Yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder the why they don't do Sombra, because Lip Sombra is nasty. Too dangerous for him to get in. Uh, to kill. No, I think I think they're they're comfortable with the Reaper and the Echo. Falcons with the maneuverability. Because the Echo can just copy another Reaper or, or uh, what do you call it, Maga. You hear everyone counting down, chat. Three, two, one. TP's out for both sides, and we are in the fray. Yeah, I'll be crazy recruiting here. And Falcons both trying to fight over this high ground, right? It's proper. They're gonna go up the lift. We're gonna have everybody okay. here up on the lift. Okay, from that gets out of that little spot. Wow. Spiral, it is waiting with open arms. Smurf gonna hold very low to this with Stalker. Oh, he almost tried to get off. You saw that? He tried to run and jump off. Yeah, you get control the cool of the roll out, but here, right? this is a point that you can hold on for a very long time, especially with these type of comps. No one plays like this in any nice rank, I think. These rounds are crazy. Well, the difference between comp and, and organized gameplay so like this is, is night and day, bit. to be honest with you. Awkward. Both teams obviously fighting for that high ground control. Falcons really knew they had to kind of commit. It doesn't work out for them, so now through the trophy here comes Jun Bin first with the stop, he's staying over the top. What's the pepper uh, spurred down, but can't not really. entirely. So I'm, my, my thing's in this. Uh, I mean, they can do this. The Falcons, but Smurf is starting to run low on that utility. It's proper, though. It's having a fight in it for Falcons, and they surge up onto the point. Yeah, Lip still plays on that. Who's he streaming with? with? This? Oh, I didn't Just introduce kind of the. This, this is oh, Emily. No, no, this is the head manager the and of production and uh, of everything Overwatch related for Blizzard. 
and when the Reaper goes she basically deck, she's basically Emily Overwatch she invented Overwatch <laughs> the Falcons taking the points Come I'm his sister Doom was about to turn around and charge back to the rest of his team so he hits a mutual CEO knockdown. of Blizzard and the pro TLDR is an easy pick up for Cropper you know Smurf trying to do that as well right when we're on with the free cam and John Bin uses the charge to get on in Smurf tries to use his Smurf like loads it around the corner and tries to just land right on top of John Bin stun that Maga get him taken out early Every time I see a reaper roll, I feel like it's just a useless ult because they get stunned, slammed, and everything. I don't know if Jimbin had to use his cage. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't think he needed to. to yeah. But, um... Proper and both supports alive against, like, two or three yeah, really I don't know. weak players there for Crazy Raccoon. And there's no way you're gonna just kind of barrel into the Reaper. I am the CEO the and even though he CFO doesn't have Raida, I know, uh, for, uh, like, damage and by CFO, range to deal I mean, with the Echo. Still, you're gonna have to get fun close to Proper would have won that, fun. so... A lot of time here game More like UFO. Uh, 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 sorry, that joke failed. Come on, come on, Crazy Raccoon. Oh, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't look happy, chat. You have Rally and Orbital Ring. Both your damage dealer ults. And look at the side of Crazy Raccoon. I mean, you're going to have absolutely nothing to work with. Oh, they're trying to run it down on the break. As the break goes really far forward. Right there, Matt Falcons push out. You push the line of scrimmage up. 90% and counting. Here's the jump back in. Oh no, shoot! Oh, that's game. No healing left for Crazy Raccoon. And Falcons read them the riot act. Over time, you will take down who's supposed to touch it. Just he's there. Protect the KD. Protect the KD. Hey, he smiled. And you say they, you say they don't smile. You showed emotion. That's, that's the most emotion you're gonna get one. all day. They nah. Just, they just understand like the tempo and the pace of the game, right? You see that push and pull constantly between. There the you go. There you go. There you go. Right now. But you see that type of emotion, you're not gonna get that. Well, yeah, because I feel like as a player as well, you don't want to be like, yeah, let's go, you guys suck, and then you guys lose, and then you look like an idiot. Also, there is a lot of people, chat, you guys can't see this, but look at this, look at this, look at this, hold up. Look how many people, remember you guys were saying there was not a lot of people? This is full, the middle's full, the other side's full, plus you guys can't see, but all the way around in the front and the sides, it's all packed. It's crazy. Side. Wait, were you fixing Why my not hair? be the aggressor, right? Why allow them to come in, take that space? Doing? They go right in early, they get like two kills, and at that point, what the round's doing? over and the map's Was my hair so looking good when I went on the stage? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it was the players. only thing nothing? that wasn't. Uh, you know, we saw Junpei oh. just try and get Stalker inside <laughs> one, right? He was like a Duke Reaper. Throw the cage fight down as he comes out and knows fucking one now. What else is the ball? Even with all that burst damage and folks in the The one thing I really did, you know, when I sat there, I was so nervous. I had a fart, but I didn't fart. I getting away with stuff. If you notice on the other side, Wait, can you believe that? J3, what's the answer? Like and then he's gone. What? Early. Sorry, he's out of that Reaper early, back into Echo. Uh, they do a great job over on the Falcon side of focusing the down audio that Echo, not for letting the show is a little bit low here. I couldn't hear everything that you were saying or the questions. The but I'll watch it later. That shield bash, but I want to watch it later. I want to see what chat was saying. Wait, what does he mean by that? My pants are full when watching Jay. Wait, because I'm full of shit. <laughs> no. He's saying he's so pitching a tent. What? End up being the centerpiece for so many of these exchanges of ultimates, uh, even in this mess again. Well, I, I, what yeah, I, I learned is I, 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 when I went to go see Uber and I saw him in the back, I was like, Uber, do you ever get well. nervous when you like, do, uh, do any of this? He does get nervous, he said. Strong, right? he's he's teams use that he said he gets nervous. Really? Yeah. When he, when he, especially uh, when it's, it's the grand finals, because you don't want to mess up the grand finals. I asked Matt Mr. X, I'm like, do you get nervous? He's like, nah. And Uber was like, no, he doesn't get nervous. He was watching TikToks. Oh, Mr. X, no. Matt's so chill. Folks, give it up for Avril! <laughs> All right, man. We just saw Falcons pick up that dub.
give me the analysis break it down you're way smarter than me in this game so let's go ahead <laughs> what should the fans be expecting going into map two yeah i think this is a final that is really looking like what we saw in dallas already it's amalgamator again and in this type of matchup Falcons have proven themselves to be better than Crazy Raccoon in this particular mirror. Now in Dallas, we saw Jimbin. Damn. He won Why is he not picked up? by playing a lot of ball, playing a lot of hog. Falcons are not letting him oh, do that. They uh, have first map push. They got to waste this place in a row. There's no Elios here. There's no ball here. To work We're not NA, seeing Rip playing some of his hard hits going to the Ash and the Cash. It's a shame. He's been forced to play Reaper. A, a lot of his carry potential is gone. This is where the proper Stalker duo, you see, they currently out. Damn, yeah, he's really good. He knows this shit. He knows his need to do in order to be able to Pick APAC, this up, at like Asia Team Lawyer as well. well pretty he's much down four maps right now. It's like to a walking Liquidpedia. Yeah, yeah, no, he's right really now, smart. He's saying he needs to set up a versus Stalker big time as well, but if there's an opportunity to put Lip back on a hard hit scan, find a map we can play the ball. I mean, this is a first to four. I mean, you can see he this looks go like back the big dude from the Emperor's Elias new group. Table. Yeah, well, look. You're looking for Lip to maybe give the other guys. <laughs> he doesn't look like Kronk. That's pretty much what the deal is here. Thank you so much, Avril, for your time. I give it up for Avril one more again. And let's send it over to the desk. Damn, Avril's Thank a fucking so five much. head, man. Hello, Avril. Long time no see. Avril oh, reminds me of. Have you ever seen Doctor Strange? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's no. been everywhere. He's been there's like. I don't watch DC. Okay. Well, there's Doctor Strange and there's like this other Asian guy. I forgot his name in the movie. But he's also got like mysterious powers. That's who Avril looks like. Wong. Doctor Strange is Marvel. I know, Chad. I was going to see if she picked it up, but she didn't pick it up. I said, I don't watch DC. Oh. <laughs> And a lot of players we can highlight from the Falcon squad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Falcon He's in Marvel first Rivals, first Chad, of course. Last time, and the first round was really competitive, really close, but I feel Falcons are staying confident, staying aggressive. I like that focus on key staying. They're not. He looks like the Drift value. King They're from Fast and Furious, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before the next and game, I, I wanna, right now are just I wanna clean right? up a little bit because I hate being oh, dirty. Yes, no, I got it. Can you throw this away? Oh, wait, can you turn around? You got something in your butt. Turn around, turn around, no, no, other side. Other side? <laughs> oh, and you're on full screen too. W. The protecting space as well. We see as well Smurf utilizing the cage, of course, to sometimes shut down the potential push just we saw here in the second run, for example. He's then goes for an aggressive play. And this is the Reaper, recycled. Trying to go okay. in oh, somewhat that Smurf shut it down with the cage fight. But also, Thank we you, see Mike them King. utilize Smurf, for example, using the counter charge. To knock down the enemy Malga as well. I and didn't that as even well, know that we were that on full screen. Sure that Reaper has good angles I was just messing with them. Within. So I've been really impressed by Falcons, of course. They have the individual play and the, the offensive pushes they do around corners, but also the way they're protecting space and making it difficult for, difficult for Crazy Raccoon to play their own game. Yeah, now, of course, a uh, map pick for Crazy Raccoon. Where do they want to take us? For me, Zoe, I think it's time to bring out Gibraltar. I think it's time to, to change <laughs> the tempo you, and just put a map win up against Falcons. You haven't done that yet today. You've got to start somewhere. If I were Team Falcons and I lose a map, I would also instantly pick Escort to get it out of Hi, the pool Alex. to deny that possibility for Crazy Raccoon. So I think if they're gonna if they're gonna make the comeback, it's gotta start here. The scary thing though is that's kind of a one and done play, right? Yes, you could pick uh, Escort now, you could pick Gibraltar, but, but that's guy your last chance rings. at it and it's yeah. gonna be gone. So I think that's we'll see. Maybe yeah. they have a different read. It's the same universe. Uh, maybe they, I mean, in the end, you have to be confident that you can win the Malgamera. In the end, nothing else matters. Looks like we did get confirmation. It is going to be a Suravasa Classic pick coming Overwatch out. So the same only knowing strategy, Marvel essentially, that they ran driving. last time. Maybe some adjustments to the team play. They did win that first flash yeah. on Suravasa. So maybe there's something they can build up there. I mean, they looked dominant in that very first round, 100 to 0. So obviously, maybe feel like they can change something up in the consecutive Sorry. rounds. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought they looked dominant in the first no, round. I know, I know. What went wrong in the second Come on round? In. Like, where, where did it fall apart? Was it once again just by old usage, little mistakes? I think Falcons just has Pedro, a better Pedro, lead Pedro, on position Pedro, in these Pedro, maps, right? Pedro. Aside from Jay the first point where August, yes, they lost the, the first fight and kind of got the snowball out from there. What? What are you talking about when I'm not here? They're fighting so that effectively at the perfect positions in the map, not letting the opponent really. Take I will eat your forward. soul, chat. ML7 reply to Jay's really tweet. Oh, did he actually? Oh, that's gonna be fun. Let me see. Falcons just has a really sharp read on which is better in which situation. Sometimes they're very passive. If he tries to be a smart ass, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They can react perfectly and make no mistakes. Here we see in this team fight. Typically, we've seen this comp be all about going first. Teams charging into the enemy spawn. But here, Falcon says, no, we're going to step it's back. Crazy we're going to let you come to us. We're just play on hanging stage, out on the back of the point, waiting for POV, some kind of initiation to come healing, in. And they're always healing and never doing damage. Right? Like, they don't really Take have notes, the you're a healer, not a DPS. Down. 
Here we see that Stop Reaper copy instantly focused, ladder. instantly burned, and the cage fight in friendly territory is just Don't too worry. much for Crazy Rack. <laughs> Look what I replied even to. A stagger kill uh, onto the Malga, uh. delays this fight, right? Staggering it out, buying more time. <laughs> in these few seconds, they do matter. And so, I mean, Falcons, they just have a real mastery of this comp. It's not one note, they're not only aggressive, only passive. They're just perfectly reading the scenario and reacting. Now let's see what Raccoon I up love in their sleeve of, as we're heading into our second map of the series. Falcons won one, but it's a long road to go to hoist that trophy <laughs> on stage. <laughs> I like so let's I want into just the DPS action instead and of you. <laughs> Thank you, so oh, yeah, first of all, it's a long series, right? It's the kind yeah. of series that we reserve for games like this. We can truly put the team through. <laughs> so the I started blasting anyways. Uh, and I agree with like a lot of what Jake said there, and I think you kind of see it with the Surabasta map pick. I don't think there's anything that crazy Raccoon, like you're not going to see them go with like a ball or try and use some type of comp like that. You know, maybe Escort, you can play a little bit more dive, especially like on Gibraltar, but you're going to have to beat them in the Maga Mirror at some point, right? There's only just so many games that like, you're going to have to kind of take it to them so they feel like Suravasta may be the best bet. Well, uh, Team Falcons after winning the first map, said, hey, any other world champions Yeah, sign me up. Embarrassment of riches. <laughs> more Falcon in more ways than one. And I mean, you see nice. Hanbin, right? Uh, you know, coming in here, we see typically Smurf, right? Plays a lot of the control maps. Then we kind of see them nice. like alternate bringing in Hanbin. I mean, this another nice. phenomenal tank. And again, like, I wanted yeah, people to sign between, around the like, hat as well, but everyone's just been signing same, here. We have seen Hanbin come in and show us the queen on occasion. Yeah. Right. We talked about, yeah, you got to win the Malgamir at some point, but we've seen this team be able to flex over. It was against teams that wanted to try and fuck <laughs> the Malgamir trend. You might see Falcon. What, what the hell is that? Who screenshot is it? What what is, where is, is that? I mean, uh, like, it's under the ball and ratio. We don't have an extended series, right? Just keep it rolling from there. Oh my god, let me see that. That tweet actually did really well. Man, I tell you what, the way these people they, they applaud pigeons, we gotta do a we gotta do an event in New York. I mean if they're gonna clap for you, they're gonna clap for pigeons, Matt. I mean hey, he, he he retweeted I think I'm cooler than the pigeons. He retweeted anything time. else, yeah, what should I say? Let's <laughs> well, be here, we have our Malgacops hovered already. Lucio Little Burst is lead to He's really sticking to the, the garbage we will be off and running theme jokes. We'll be fighting around Where is ML7 from? One thing was noted Romania? Oh. Like interested in being the instigators in that last map. Let's see if they take some tempo this time. It, it just feels like Falcons just controls the pace of the game at all moments. You see right here, Jungman takes a lot of damage early on. What a great angle to the top of it. There's not a lot that can be done. Lippa's trying to watch three different people at once. Great positioning here by the Reaper at the start of the fight. It is a trade though. Note that Hardbeat was brought down. Falcon's confident enough still to move to the point without their tank. Yeah, and you can't exactly push in without your Reaper, right? You lose your Reaper early on there. Or Crazy Raccoon, there's no way you're going to extend your Mog into uh, the death chamber. <laughs> Chase, that's leaving still so on the often. Point. I'm almost there. Chasing his first world championship still, Matt. But isn't that crazy? Crazy to think about. He's staying over the top here. The torpedo is coming for healing, but it might not be enough. Oh, folks, the thing from Stalker actually interrupts He's staying as he tries to go to work on Hardbeat. Still Come on, crazy raccoons. Don't get swept again, man. Four Falcons and I do Raccoon hope Crazy Raccoon wins this match. match. Like just get get the ball rolling, get the I hope so. going because right now, I mean it's gotta be brutal, right? You're up on stage playing a lot of the same maps, you yeah, lost all of them. Cool. Just getting a map win, regardless of any way you do it, right? You know, maybe maybe some kind of crazy things happen in some of these fights, you end up winning a map. That kind of changes the whole dynamic. I've been trying to reposition there is Newton went for the throat. Gonna be lip playing from the outside of the case fight with the death boss of here and Hartman is taking the brunt of that damage. Stork was knocked out of Doom there. He had no chance for a death boss among his own it seems. And he's like, alongside Lip, so much damage from four Hellfire shotguns at the same time. Spider-Man moment. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, well, we were talking about it map number one, right? When he sang was using the dupe, it was Team Falcons that was able to focus fire him down really fast. That time is on the opposite end, right? Stalker gets taken out right away. He's saying able to live for a while there on the Reaper to make it work. Back 
to brass packs now as Greater Raccoon have control of the point at 85 and counting. It's Goombi that charges over towards the point there. Chio taking down. No Juno here for Falcons. But that doesn't seem to bother him too much. Crocker finds a great angle yet again. And there's a cage fight to play defensively from within. But Juicy ties through it. Oh my Goes god. The point. They actually flip? This fight out. How does Proper just get into your back lane and kill both of you? <laughs> I mean, you give up one of your own, right? You give up Chio if the older's still alive, but. Man, the value that proper gets there, right? A TP into the back line, just basically deletes Chorong from existence and then deals with Shu pretty easily. I mean, you gotta keep these two players alive for Crazy Raccoon if you're even gonna have a chance. Proper there, backed up by Chunkman, who goes into the jump and up and has the I've done meme with uh, oh, ML7. Be <laughs> <laughs> 99, 99, first point. This is crazy. Lip, Lip needs to survive and get his He can't get that close to a brig. Oh my god, you know what sucks? They, they do all that work to get to 99-99, but then they, they end up folding. Lip obviously has the best chance to do that. The issue is, is we're not going to win a fight on the front line, right, without Lip being there, right? So he gets the points, you know, gets on it, is working towards, I know, potentially flipping it, but the rest of the team dies. Falcons easily goes and retains that first flash. Never seen Jay so quiet, scared of pretty girl. Scared of me? Oh, oh he teleported on two people and then uh, they disappeared. That's crazy. Stalker in over the top there, sees an opportunity to pick off his tank, but the cage fight, he lets himself get caught in it. And Crazy Raccoon clean it up. Nice, nice. You're still Team Fal Falcons, right? Yeah. I'm Team Raccoon. They already lost one today. I want them to bring it back. Come on. I, I would like to see Team Falcon win the grand finals, but for this particular map, I would like to see Crazy Raccoon win. So that we can sit here longer with chat. I mean, I do have that IRL stream back back. I just didn't bring it here. I should have probably brought it up. Pushing up. Jumpy tries to start the fight, but straight into the cage he goes. Can he emerge now? Fetid in the middle of the storm, and Hardbit trying to burn him down with those bullets. Lip and Heastang are gone, and the raccoons have no teeth. It's just you have to use so many healing resources to keep Jungbin up. I'm amazed they were able to keep him up. With that what the heck was that for? Right? As, I know they keep him alive through a lot of that cage fight, but you eventually lose Heastang and Lip. At that point, everything falls. You did end up getting 63%. You have a DPS. Uh, Is no, Grand Finals uh, today? You're no, watching no, it right now. Moment, but you're going to be able to even this up. So let's check. Thank you for the nine months. They're here. taking Come such a far the fight the away from okay. the point. Wow. With the backup there from Falcons, they just think so much here. But they got the deficit for make up already. Stalker there, keep the sticky, but he's very, very healthy now. Oh, he had all. I'm really surprised he didn't use it. I his team is so probably winning this fight. You're not going to kill two supports. Again, typically you would actually see Stalker in that type of situation use the Duke to get his health back, but he's fighting the Echo. There's really nobody to be able to do that. It's going to be a rally from Fielder here to kick things off. What can he make use of this? He's waiting for a death blossom to slip, but it might be a little bit too late. Proper jumps in over the top of the cage by now. Yeah, every time I see a Blossom, Blossoms just fall over. No, it looks like uh, it looks like Team Falcons is probably going to get this match. Wait. No. Oh yeah, you're right. Aww, reverse sweep. Maybe. See Falcons doing this to Crazy Raccoon right now just shows. This is Crazy Raccoon's pick too. Yep. Right, you win this five in a row. Okay, you just okay, you got the, you get, you get in there. Very good team, right? You know they they kind of ran through them. Every time, like I, I would, pl I would be playing the Reaper in this meta if this, if, if, I, if I was on a team, and just watching all the Reapers ult and just fall over is just making me very sad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
<laughs> I believe in the J3 Echo. Yeah, that guy's not bad. My Echo, uh, my echo is horrible. It's just like how Jake mentioned, though, and it's like what we've been talking about, where a little bit more defensive there and just kind of changing up how these fights are being taken, right? Junbin that time charges in the Hanbin, and then they just start like playing a little bit of a neutral game, right? Some focus fire coming down, and then as Junbin gets low, then the cage bottoms down. Oh, Eastan was not ready for that at all. He always had a dude. Uh, I feel like Crazy Raccoons are much stronger than this, but Crazy Falcons is like they're not giving Crazy Raccoons any time to set up, and they're always going first and disrupting their flow, and they're always like one step ahead. I think, yeah, I think. Crazy Raccoons is definitely going to win this. If that doesn't work, I mean, you were scared. Oh, sorry, Team Falcons. Team Falcons. Team Falcons. Sorry, sorry, did I say the wrong names? Yes, Crazy Falcons. Crazy Falcons. Team Raccoons. Team, 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 team Raccoons, yeah. Crazy Falcons. There's the charge. Look at him go. Wow, Fielder, this price to take it to Chio. Gets him involved, but Chio ends up getting picked up by the focusing beam. Stalker doesn't get to spend much time in Malga form there. And Fielder's rally, helping Falcons stay nice and healthy, but Raccoons have that cardiac overdrive. What a whip shot back on Oh, what a whip. What a whip. What a whip. By the Falcons. Yeah, but now you have you're gonna be able to come back here for Falcons. You're gonna have Chio's orbital array. There's gonna be Hanman jumping in to start it off. Big oh, oh. Lands on purpose, purpose. Nice. Waiting. Raccoon is gonna try and wait out this orbital ray. Two Magas run into each other. That's funny. Oh, nice. I mean, is the reverse sweep on the horizon, Chad? Her that's the type of what do you think? Needed, right? Reverse sweep, yes or no? Break their way. It's tough to say because Team Falcon really just needs two kills. One more them up for crazy map. Instantly. Don't but jinx it. I don't jinx away. things, chat. <laughs> Watch. Crazy raccoons are going to win this. I mean, yes, this is an advantage to kind crazy of raccoons win this, chat. Watch. To go their way. That was it. Like you said, I think Team Falcon's strat is to just mess up their flow, not allowing them time to set up. Nice. Okay. No, wait. Stalker. What was that? Falcons able to break back in the rally. It's tremendous, Matt. Yeah, the fielder with a rally there towards the end. Now is going to keep using that rally, getting everybody here to the point. Uh, He's sacrificing good. his life for that. I mean, he got it to 99, but the only thing is. Uh, no. No. Jumpin can't make it. Nope. No, he can make it. There was a, there's a hole up there, you saw? Yeah, but there's a brig, too. Yeah, no. And there's just no fight left in this raccoon squad. Proper gets a death loss from a desperation for Crazy Raccoon. Fizzles out. Wow. That's two in a row, folks. Come on, man. Appreciate it, Randy. Come on, man. Yo, Crazy, I need you guys to win at least one map. Hey, we just said hi to her. I need you guys to win at least one. You guys cannot get swept in the in the upper bracket finals and then get swept in the grand finals. You can't do that, bro. Mind-boggling to think like, yeah, yes, it was. You want to start like cheering for Team chip. Falcon? Uh, he <sighs> can probably taste it right now. How close they are. And watching him Yo, play, it always seems like he ends up in a Let's go, Team position. Falcons. He's on an off angle, playing from the fringes of the fight, as opposed to Lip, who often finds himself surrounded by a brig that's trying to stun him, force him back. Even Juno's shooting him in the face. He's dealing with a Malka cage. It are these the like only fucking co success, viable comps in pro play? Chat, right you guys box. need to realize some heroes are going to be stronger than other heroes. Some characters get right buffed, some characters get nerfed. The metas right change. Like, you, know, uh, you guys got to know that. Come on. You see Matt's comment? Your girlfriend is so pretty, you're a power couple FR. Please, please don't compliment her. I get jealous. Made no, it very thank difficult you. for Crazy Raccoon, especially when is the Mercy head -head meta? And in a minute, like there was a Moth meta. I don't know if you guys knew that. Like Falcons is finding these edges right oh, now. shit. Just sort of says, oh, or if they were left alive after this very scrappy engagement. But I gotta go say. To look at, right? Positioning of Reapers, whether the Briggs able to get these big rally oh, bashes, if they can save them for the right time. And just a matter of when these Malga charges are coming in. Every time we see Junbin go forward, it looks like it's in desperation. Emily, your boyfriend is so pretty. Don't lie to her. I'm waiting for this. I'm Listen, yeah. you can lie to me, just don't lie to Emily. Ignore the Malga entirely and hit the back line. There's a lot of minutiae to look at, and of course for that we have our experts on you deck are to really break it down. Pretty. So but gentlemen, back you think so? That's the first time you ever said that.
It's standing here with our eyes glued on the oh. screens. I mean, we've got to be real, right? In the current meta, it can be very hard to really identify those little you're moments that turn the tide in those big team fights. It's, it's not just let's true. all dump our alts and see how we end up with it. No, it, it really comes down to those individual mm -hmm. positionings mm -hmm. and Sometimes, to enabling like different players or the players enabling themselves over. to um, execute what they want to do. My fart? And Falcons have just no. shown. Absolute like dominance in that regard. They've been able it to doesn't smell like you're you know, read the game five ah. steps ahead. Ah. I know exactly what their win conditions are. Yeah, I mean I feel like the Falcons yeah, are sit here. Great I want, let me sit there. I wanna the get someone has been, on. has been dealt here. Of course, with the rally, you're able to stun the Reaper out of that death blossom. But we've seen players like Proper, you know, arguably the best player in the world. He makes use of the knowledge of when Shorong has that rally and when he doesn't have it. And we've seen him time and time again go for these flags. Ooh. This Death Blossom right here, catching two early, of course. Junkrat and that is going is to result a troll in fights where it's actually quite winnable for Proper. Play. You know, we see him go on the flanks. I mean, I like seeing the upper Junkrat. Earlier in the tournament <laughs> as well. That Proper has a great understanding of when to flank and also when to dive in with that Death Blossom when there's maybe no rallies unavailable, but Shu is trying to drop that Orbital Ray as well. So Chora, when are we a getting a Doom meta? To perform here, oh. but Proper is just playing so you know, well around him. Sometimes the Chinese team will neutral play game Doom. For Falcons, Gusha likes really to run Doom. Right now, Crazy Raccoon is starting to look, frankly, a little bit desperate, and I don't blame them because some of these moments are just so perfectly timed from Falcons. I feel they really understand the map position. Every time they fight, they're choosing oh. 3 the perfect location, the Thank place you where for the they line. have the strongest spot mm. for Reaper, mm. right? Mm. When you play these Reaper mm. duels, mm. a lot of it when we used to... Nice! Uh, match, to look at that. You have the starting to look good. You don't. You've got to be fearless to really play this character at the highest level. Sometimes these Reapers drop down a 100 HP, 50 HP. I don't enjoy getting refuses to really press strong on, Doomfists in my games. Life, that actually in my rank games, ahead, usually their team I can the advantage, and handle the Doomfist. The moment the I see a Doomfist so on the enemy team, I, would say he's got <laughs> I play something dirty, guys. like May like or Sombra. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's exactly no, you don't play Sombra. You play May. I respect the May pick, but not the Sombra pick. Don't do the Sombra pick. Sometimes I choose Sombra, but only when to show how much talent when you, if, the if you don't pick if Obviously you don't pick no if you if you go with Dane you pick Sombra and I ignore you for that whole day just know yeah, that's I mean, the reason why <laughs> that, you know, team quite but in here, these high level plays like I enjoy watching way. good but I feel like you know we've seen John Bean, for example yo Jay you're getting cooked by ML step it up man oh yo can you do me a favor can you clip this and show it to ML7 yo wait ML where are you to keep an eye on if Team Falcons are exposing his position. Right on uh, now, I don't Jake, see him. Uh, when we just looked at the general highlights, <laughs> he's probably co-streaming. That is the position. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> go, 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 show him that. In those fights, you uh, actually managed Jay. to grab a very particular moment in the game to highlight that. Wow. Yeah, so last map, we looked at Oasis. We looked Nathaniel? at a spot where Falcons played it past. If they played it slow, the map months. favored them. Nathaniel for 78 the months. They Absolutely that insane. That's like almost a year. They don't stay there. They that's right that's insane. Get up close to the enemy spawn. Reapers up here on the high No, I feel level. like uh, instead of the narrow Chris map pools, I say They're don't do sure the map pools. I now, eh. all do the way to do the hero map bans. They should spend a little bit of extra time before each map to ban a, a character. That would be like the coolest thing ever. Like each map is a different character. Man, that's sick. That's sick, but not a. All these trades, Falcons back off. Not like a map pool thing. And despite this fight looking like who would ban them? Would it be the losing team decides who to ban? No, they each take turns. But the first pick, I guess, would be the losing team. Yeah. And that's Falcons' willingness to find these moments where you know what? It's time to go. Like when Proper's wraith forming into your backline. Like they they both get like three bans, so the loser gets the whoever loses gets the first pick. The other team gets the second. And then they get the no, third. You were, yeah. you've uh, something lost. like that. You, you, you I think something. Failed the team fight, but something like that. Oh, the oh, team is behind here? him. They're gonna oh, come I wanted in you to have more space. I wanted you to be closer. Delivering I'm on good. I'm good. In this it's so it's my legs. Oh my I don't know what my legs are hitting. Oh, that my. The hell are my legs hitting? Oh, it's that. You can come closer. We still have in the pool. You can come closer. I know you've been wanting to see that Gibraltar is now the time. So this, the thing about picking Gibraltar is, I think strategically it makes sense. It's like, look, it's a map we completely Being changed over here. the tempo. Yeah. Probably going to be Dive Mirror, like Winston Mirror on Can a rig. Uh, maybe you know, Hitscan face. Tracer. Yeah. So I, you know, oh, the Harry does go on it, Oh, we're going to Gibraltar. So I don't think you're going to see the MAGA meta on Gibraltar. This is your trump card. This is your ability to change things. Thank you. If you win this map, it's like, great, I make sure you got I one on do. the board. But it also shows weakness. It shows that 
you're shying away from the Mauga meta. And in the end, guys, this series is going to be decided by the Mauga Reaper. <laughs> High winter Gibraltar world. is big, but now well, it's like no, it's you really have to win. This is your big moment. It, it kind of just you lose started. This map, I, I don't mean, know where it's gonna coming be, from. I would say but I'm definitely like recoverable. south of it. <laughs> like they are, they are staking their claim that the hit scan tracer. It's time what for Lyft to, to show up and show us why he's Me? the role yeah. MVP. Oh, it's the, uh, what is so it? So many MVP awards. Saint Laurent. Career, so Saint Laurent. Many YSL Hall. This is Lyft's moment. But Chew as well. I think these are the guys to watch here in the server. Naturally. Yeah, you, know you hear that chant? Naturally, I'm just so right beautiful. It's You're gonna be beautiful. A treat. I know that for sure. Uh, speaking of treats, we do have CB John standing by with Alex by our stage. That's right, Zora. You may have seen her in Calling All Heroes as well as the World Cup. It's CB! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and break this down, Steve, because, you know, this is a wild result that we're seeing right now. Falcons up 2-0, to zero. but for people who probably haven't watched Overwatch coming in for the World Finals here to watch these two teams clash, is this a surprise result, or is this something that was written in the stars the whole time? Oh, no, it was written in the stars for sure. These two have been the best teams all season long. No one else has come close. It's been these two back-to-back, -back, blow for blow, going at each other's throats left and right, and no one else has come close except oh, for, you know, a couple others. Oh, I'm south Korea, too. But, you know, south here too, it was right? these two, and it was always going to be these two. Well, now we're going to Gibraltar, and uh, you were hearing Jake <laughs> pretty much just, like, call the entire thing play-by-play-wise. Uh, this is a last-ditch effort here for Crazy Raccoon. Is this is going to be doable? Smell Can Crazy like Raccoon pheromone? manage to I, come I think back maybe four seconds before to get me. that reverse sweep happen? I, I, mean, it's happen I remember now. first because talking to you, you're like, nails need to be clipped, smell looking good, hair needs to be combed, and I'm like, is it okay if there's no hair? And you're like, you got some options, but it wasn't working. And if they don't break from the meta, they're done. And it's their only map that they're gonna get that's gonna actually play Well, see, the thing about smell that's so important is sense. All right. Well, we do have one more special. Thing as well. like, I, I don't want the band CB to be walking around covered. The oh, they're bringing everyone in. Give her a couple of uh, oh. battle pass codes. So why don't you go oh, ahead, nice. find CB, take a picture, get an autograph, because she's awesome. She's going to be tearing things up in the Overwatch competitive scene commentary. Oh, that's guys, cool. They, like, let everyone in. Oh, that's nice. oh, except not everyone in the front, though. To your cast. To agree with a lot of what Good kitty. Yeah, right. I oh, mean, that's it feels so like cute, the hell Anna. left the hand here like, for Crazy Raccoon. Like, it, I, I don't want someone to be drenched in cologne, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I think if someone just naturally like a, smells a clean, move, it's also uh, a sign of good health. But, uh, they yeah. are in desperation mode. Am I healthy? I, I know You're you very like, healthy. Yeah, I mean, I know you lost 3-0 you know? earlier. You're down 2-0 now. Uh, you don't have much else to play with. You might as well try and throw something into the mix that could change things up. We need to be clear, though. This doesn't and guarantee anything. Me. We have some subs here, of course. Falcon's going to a different map, so Smurf comes yeah. back in, and I wonder, what do they have did to they let everyone in? Lip hit scan yeah, so uh, we, when we heard the subs, it's a, oh, hey, it's different. happy! So we get happy in for proper. Wait, happy is still active? The happy, we know he's a tremendous hit scan player. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal widow. Nice. Coming in here now. Happy is subbing in for proper? Along those Why did they have the tank logo? So happy is a DPS player. Said, I mean, happy was actually supposed oh. to play, in theory, in the APAC finals. There was just no occasion that allowed for it. There wasn't really, like, the maps didn't quite come up, but he was ready to go. He was waiting in the wings here to have a chance to turn up and show hit scan. So we get a lift versus happy potential, likely, hit scan door on this map of Gibraltar. And this is what I mean. There's no guarantee <laughs> that this gambit pays off for Crazy Raccoon. But, but what else do you do? I mean, you have to kind of take this opportunity, right? Uh, you know, you're getting to pick every map here. <laughs> you might as well pick a map that maybe you can play something a little bit different then Mauga, because obviously on Gibraltar, there's a ton of high ground. You need to play for that high ground constantly, really long sight lines. So it is one of the only maps you can force something different. So reset yourselves a little bit here. Departure likely from our Mauga metagame. It is something more dive oriented. Winston, a change of backline, maybe Arno Brig. And dive DPS here alongside potential Widowmaker. Ash play is always an option. Happy Offense on Venture. Paired with that. Oh, he just switched to right now, Widow. Damn, I would have been so excited to see him two, on Venture. Doesn't look like it from what we see Wait. in these two teams at the moment. Is Falcons putting in the work. So Falcons all start here on defense. I, I love this as well, right? If you can get like, you know, Happy, start picking one on the Widowmaker, get like a first point hold. Takes any signs of life Was away from Crazy Raccoon. I don't think yeah, so I don't think we can escape this. Do you want to sit here? Yeah. Uh, you know, wanna, honestly, now that I'm standing, it's better. A lot of I kind of want to stand. The okay. They're the ones that yeah, will follow up this winter side when possible. Fielder's on You're his good. best role. Shoes probably on his best role as well. Why do I have to have such 
a sharp nose. Oh, thank you. Oh, Why am I so sensitive? You tell me. Nice, we're gonna see some Widow and we're gonna see some Tracer and Winton and some Anna. Might be the best look here for this raccoon's roster. Please, thank you Geo for the nine months. that side room there. Shield up. Those lip is likely inhabiting the bridge. Some poke down here from both our tanks. Happy Herpes must be happy to play in the grand. Hell yeah. Opening. Wait. I'm waiting for Stalker to be in position to make some kind of dive happen. Poison mine hits, but lip's actually with a bio nade. Junbin also affected by that. Yeah, it's more like the, the biggest thing there is that Junbin gets hit right. It kind of forces oh, shoe on Ana? Smurf to take control of that top ridge. That's exciting. That we see the tracer battle on the cart. You're going to see this constantly, right? Just trying to stop that cart from moving from underneath that underpass. Yeah, Happy was looking for the underpass. Now heads back upstairs once more. This time, Shu suffering from a bio nade. Field has been hitting a lot of these nades, but he inherently has an advantage with those because he holds the high ground, could lob those down and connect onto one or more targets. He's also going to be really hard to dig out of this Get position. Closer. Yeah, there it feels, is. It, yeah, and Happy gets the first pick. But it feels like if you're going to hit these bio nades constantly from Fielder, eventually Smurf is going to be able to follow it up. And now Smurf coming through. Happy. Two He's popping. There's one player. We always joke, like, bringing in players who are cold in the back. There's one player you could probably bring in and just kind of play Widow no. uh, just off the street, right? You could have plucked Happy out of the crowd, put him up there, and he probably would have been fine. Becky. <laughs> there you go. That's the bald the one. For crazy <laughs> raccoon. They get stopped uh, in their tracks here, basically in the just, first uh, fight. It's a, it's a pick that starts it off right. This is Chorong taken down. And What's wrong with this one? Oh, he doesn't have a face. Well, guess what? He doesn't have headphones now. For both sides. The infrasight here as well for Falcon. So that's going to delay things you imagine here for Crazy Raccoon. No Up to the server room here goes Junfit, but he's being chased by Stalker. Pulse bomb attempt, unsuccessful. Junfit is sheltering in the bubble for now, but he needs to find a way to get out because Geo was hot on his heels. He popped Primal just to escape, chase Happy. He's got to give up on that. Shu's being picked to pieces by Smurf. Uh, he tries to chase. I mean, yeah, sure, he chases Happy all the way out, but the rest of his team is just getting carved up by Smurf. Damn, Smurf's going off. Wow. It's not even the nano use there for... Team Falcons as well. That's that imprecise. And and also it's Stalker doing a great job just pressuring Junbin down to the point that he has to use primal. I think so. Oh, oh nice okay. gonna catch on a happy big opening there for Crazy Raccoon. Rally that comes out from Shio though. Is Chorong goes down he he hit by the bio. bio. Smurf follows it up. He almost had his rally too. Just as Crazy Raccoon looked like they'll be out Man, started, Team Falcons is just down to size. Team Smurf Falcons is just looking too strong right now, to be honest with you. There's the, the Crazy Raccoons has no answer. Oh, there was an answer. Lips Widow. Jumpin had to get a nano there from Shuchio is the one getting nano this time. That's very, very hard to kill this brick, but a bio is gonna help. He stays there you go, there you go. That's, that's good, that's good. Finally, Crazy Raccoon get going. You're gonna get another fight here though if you're Falcons. It's just you need to keep Fielder and Stalker alive. As you end up losing Fielder here. You're not gonna have a ton of healing now. Price record push oh. up here. It's a good chance we see a cap. Jundin's gonna play through that doorway, but there's a couple of steps. Nice! No, they capped! Give it up. Hey. Checkpoint here for Crazy Raccoon. That's and good, that's extension. good. Yeah, you lose Fielder there. There's no way you're gonna be able to keep Smurf topped up if he jumps on to the point to try and keep that contested. You already did a pretty good job. Top ship control, and that's going to be a good way to do it. As the Happy. Shu got Happy the tracer, though. They're even. Opportunity to get to the stage here. Looks like he's been well and truly warmed up already. Stalker did fall to a bionate here, but Falcon's adamant about maintaining this shuttle position. If they get forced out of here, things get a little dicey. So want to stand? You don't want the headphones? Here. Now Happy has another thing to worry about, but Lips being forced out of position. Smurf gets in his face. Just make sure you don't fall. Gets the job done. Picking field. Oh my goodness, how? Is he allowed to get away with this? I mean, that's all three repair packs from Chorog used onto the Widowmaker, just trying to keep Lip alive. He's hanging with a recall. Up not to go for the pulse pop there, and Stalker is trying to hold the Junbin back for now. All the Falcons looking to group up on that left side high ground, and Jimmy wants to get in their face. He's got a primal. That's going to be a problem for Falcons as he then goes into an epic duel with Stalker, who's trying to back away. Oh, he, he, oh, he missed the pulse, though. Chat! Man, if that was me, I would have landed that pulse. Stop it in its tracks, but Stalker got caught out in the open, man. Picked off by the Widow. Happy Lee's trades it out. It's Junbin falling for Crazy Raccoon. They're going to keep going, though. True Nano's he's saying that Trace and Nano of all things. But Smurf has the antidote. A primal here to get up to the high ground. Deny it away from Lip. Then oh, down. what a sleeve. Hit with a bio nade, and now he's in a bit of trouble. 
needs to stay out of the line of sight as the cart rolls back. He does get in line to sight though, a fielder, right? So you're going to be able to top him up. It's a lot of good progress though for Crazy Raccoon. A nano though available here for Smurf. I like how you guys always call it a J3 pulse bomb, but like, dude, everyone does it. Even Stalker and Isang do it, chat. How are you guys going to make fun of me? This is the grand finals, Chaz. This is the grand finals. Wow, he barely lived. And what a bubble dance for Smurf! Chu didn't know what hit him. And just the pressure wow. that Smurf is putting on Lip every time we are on board with Smurf, there is damage going down onto Lip. Just not trying to allow that Widowmaker to get set up in position. Look at this, they push up a little bit. See if you can get happy to get an early pickoff, right? Below a minute, a pick here would be huge. Gotta stress Chorong out there. He wants to play that high ground if he can. Junbi there steps up on the low ground around a health Ooh. pack, and Lip was hoping to catch Happy as he slid across. What a tight angle. This is a gamble for Lip. This is time ticking away. Chorong flattened already by Smurf. On that left side, high ground. Crazy Raccoon are trying to set up, but they're being disrupted constantly. Nice bio under pressure there from Shu. Chio is brought down as a result, but Lip is gone yet again. Stalker holds a oh my here. god. Stop this attack. Crazy Even Raccoon needs to get their shit together. It's only 15 it's seconds. 15 seconds left. Yeah, you're no. leaving some of these players alive here towards the end. It's going to be both supports on the high ground here. Smurf's going to have his ult. It doesn't matter. No, that's a, that's a great ult if Shu doesn't die. Okay, wow. Nice, nice heals. But is someone on the cart? Yeah, someone touched. Someone touched. That's good. He's still... Oh! Yeah, but they have to go help their tracer. Their tracer's the only person on point. They got the nano, though. All they gotta do is cap. All they gotta do is cap. Come on. All they got. Oh, nice sleep. Holy shit. Don't see nine. See nine. Oh my god, they touched. Nice. Holy shit, bro. That's a nail biter. They would feel their hits that sleep, and then Smurf comes out. It's like, oh, we've seen this story before, right? They're going to clutch. A crazy raccoon, and they end up coming out on top. And they're, they're quite fortunate that they got so much payload progress early on, right? Those I'm telling you, this is crazy. Get top shuttle control, almost gets that second checkpoint right away. I mean, you have an early fight win there for Falcon. Do it have been a lot. Why does she not have a seat? Uh, there was a, there was a smell of jet, and so she wanted to stand up and uh, get away from the smell. I don't think. Smurf getting close to another primal here, but needs to build it up. Yep, he respects the damage now. Comes back in with Chi and Fielder. They're being harassed by Junbin. What a 180 sleep there from Fielder. Happy elsewhere though is brought down and Crazy Raccoon now seems to have found a higher gear. They're on the road. Nice, nice. Come on. Come on. I mean, you gotta watch out for the pulse. Final corner. Gotta watch out for the pulse, but they do have Nano. This is good. Of his own, coming out of spawn, Stalker gonna have to go with a huge pulse from here. Thanks for him. Yes, on the corner. He's gonna probably try to stick the break or something. Stay alive is the plan for Stalker. So far, so good. Jun begins in the back line with the primal disrupting the back line. Yeah, he's gonna try to go for the break. Wow. Oh, Junmin! Nice! Damn, looking like J3 out there! Damn! Wow, bro, if they keep that up, I might clap without my hands. Signs of life, finally, from Crazy Raccoon. It's like Get control there towards the end. Get it across the line. No time in the time bank. You absolute you weirdo. Like what's what's wrong? What's wrong with clapping without your hands? How's that weird? That huge sight line that they do not How's that weird? Oh, they lot of a lot of people in. Directly into his view onto the they, payload to try and contest. Nice. Trying to force those players out onto the payload. They do that. He made it popular. End. Missing your pulse bomb. I did nice not make missing my really pulse bombs popular. Keeping him alive on that Widowmaker with Smurf putting all that pressure. Crucially, he also provides an infrasight for Junbin, yeah. who's trying to find the right doorway to, to block the supports from coming back out. Imagine Jay saying exactly this in the official commentary. Bulk. This is why I can't be a commentator, man. Like it impossible for Falcons to properly reinforce for that last fight. Okay, I took everything for Crazy Raccoon to finish the map, but that is That would be funny if they sign. had me a cast and I could say now whatever I want. Back up that offense with a staunch 
Nah, I can't. I can't do that, man. Like, Jaws, Jaws does it really good casting. I can't do that. I'm, I'm like the NSFW cursing caster. Also, I'll be the caster to be like, holy shit, that guy misses Pulse Bomb. He fucking sucks. I don't think you're supposed to say that as a caster. on the hog. Just looking for a hook, yeah. He enjoyed that. Really in the glory days for just a moment before we're back to business. Yeah, and remember on the defensive side how uh, oppressive Smurf was on top of that bridge, staying in control of it. Let's see if John Bin can kind of navigate that area the same type of way. Yeah, Crazy Raccoon should have that same inherent advantage based on Well, I love that they're playing Winston instead of Malga. I think this is. Now, this is one of my favorite things about watching right the, the Asian teams play is that everything is much more fast-paced. Well, I mean, if they were playing a very close quarter map, like let's say King's Row, it would have been the Maga. But if you're playing a very, uh, what do you call it, vertical map, you're going to get the Winston. Nice. little sneaky jump in 3K there. Back fire from Shu. Will be Stalker putting some pressure there. On a lip, they want to get this payload moving. They want to get it under that underpass, force it all the way to the server room, force Crazy Raccoon to move back. Playing through the underpass now. It's should have been set up looking for the Widow. Yep, that's a dive over towards Happy. It's going to be a while before Heastack can join them there. The lip has plenty nice. of room, and it's going to be Geo going down first. Choose currently anti heal but Heastack. Get him, get him. He's saying he's popping. The lip can just stick back and wait for his <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Stalker reeling after that one and happy he's trying to get out of the Nice he he's saying Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Where are they showing the chaser oh. POV? <laughs> Big pulse bomb there, connection towards the end. I it's it's pick, pick off. I, it, this is also you know, look, Fraser Coon in a great spot here on defense. Primal now for Junbin. Gonna have double support on. But this also allows, you know, these things starting to come alive, right? You don't want to give these players confidence. They can get right back in this series. Nano here available for Gilda, but there's Lip. Oh! Wow. But wow. Before he died, he got the tracer, though. Gilda falls, though, despite a Bionet connecting onto Shu. They're not able to get rid of the raccoon's honor. And Jumbin once more is busy. Wow, this defense is insane. This defense is literally insane. here from Crazy Raccoon. We said they need to show signs of life. This is a map that they obviously would have went to because it plays their play style a bit better. And now, I mean, these look like completely opposite teams, right? I mean, Falcons has been dominating Crazy Raccoon all day long. It'll be in for sight from both teams. So both Widows gonna have that knowledge. Everybody on the field as well. So you're not gonna see Ooh. much happen here for a little bit, but actually it's gonna be- Oh no, Lip's dead. The benefits of the Primal gonna get two. Just the Primal, really? There's an infrastructure here in this fight. It's not just so much of that work. Uh-oh, why, why did he fall? Why did he fall? He just fell, uh, I mean, now I guess he tried to touch the card. Gravity. No, he was on the high ground. Too. He and jumped off. they actually just didn't want to kind of use anything, right? You don't want to invest the Rally or the Nano to try and win that. Maybe you think Jumin. you can come back to it again. Jumin has the Primal, I think, here to try and stall him. Bubble on the high ground, that drops low dust teeth. I mean, Crazy Raccoons. Oh, Ooh, what a sleep. He's in a really good position. He's punching out things while Fielder is punching out light. Two going to fall, both honors now off the table. as Jumin still holding onto this prime. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. The pressure is immense. Two matches, Geo crumbles. Not long after his shield. Nice. So good for Crazy Raccoon. I mean, not really. They just use, like, three ults for that. They only have Winston ult. Team Falcon. I mean, they have Nano. Nano's gonna be Nano. Win they're gonna handle the Winston, obviously, but Nano Winston's gonna go hard. And we see a cast. This is on the other side. This is exciting. Cast adventure. Oh my gosh. One last fight. Well, I think he picked venture to get back to the point fast, and then he picked cast so because he picked adventure. Probably. Yeah, you Nano. You Nano the Winston. A big Bionet connects on the Tracer and ends him. Primal here is those, but Junbin is going to be able to make a little bit of time. Oh no, Shu's down. down. Gives up his life. That Shu will have to fall uh, I think, I think they're going to take this, but Shu and, uh, what do you call it, Cho got two, two kills. But Junbin has no way to survive now. He's, he just has to stall the point so his teammates get back. Smurf does have Primal yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. 
He's not gonna buy that much time. He's gonna die right now. Pulse. Ooh. Nice. They actually got a map. Nice. I, I, yo, listen. My my scariest prediction was that they were gonna get blown out 4-0. That would have been the most boring. That was like a, that's like an Overwatch League Grand yeah, Finals, yeah. watching a game and watching getting it 4-0. Yeah, we don't want none of that. Yeah. We want, we want a good, close series, chat. Wait, what? Why did you say blow my back out? What? That's not what you're supposed to say. But we'll probably go to something completely different. Meta-wise, right back to both where he said in that one and two. Still, you got to feel like, okay, we can take this game to them, right? Absolutely. I mean, you are at least... Is it versus the four? Yes. First the four, chat. Best I hope seven. Crazy Raccoon wins the next map, one, right? too. Almost anticipating that would be the case. Why, so it's tie? We're going to the round. I want to, the game to see all seven games. I want to see... Uh, I don't really care who wins. I just want to see a very close series. Yeah. We paid a lot of money to be here. Yeah, we did, actually. That's crazy. Jay took out a mortgage on his mortgage. Bro, we, a second yeah. one. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't cheap to fly all the way over here, chat. Of all of us, there's a lot to talk about and also, here. we're staying we a few more days, so we gotta pay for our own hotels and stuff. And our, 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 our first bullet train. I mean, you've been on a bullet train. Going. My first they bullet train. They very clearly why they're such a scary team once they get uh, to play that dive composition. The rip code is involved, and it worked, it man. It paid like off big time. Crazy Raccoon are right back in this series. Building some confidence, man. He's saying in general. If they do one in Korea, will you come? Fuck yeah. They were I'll take out a mortgage on top of my mortgage that already has a mortgage. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I would love that. You would love Korea. The food is amazing. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait. He has the same thing as me. He's wearing like a scarf. Uh, like a scarf. Uh, like a scarf. Uh, like a scarf. You take everything you can get in the grand final. Oh, you can't really see it. Was it a Hangzhou spark? It looked like pink and blue. We pick yeah. if we Jay get back isn't ready for Asia series, right now. But My mom also wanted best. Jay to go to China early next year, but Jay's stomach well. isn't ready. I mean, he still needs to train. Young grasshopper. You're, you're, you're going to. Why don't you take the chair and put it back here? I like standing because I'm out of the danger zone. No, because if I stand, I don't stand. Crazy Raccoon come out on top like sure. he did in the Asia main event grand finals of course. So an incredible Oh Jay, Alex so. wanted you to send him the Fuck Alex! Well. He just started Sorry. looking at those highlights. He sang had a phenomenal performance. Yes. You, you, you don't have to do it there. You can do it on the side too if you want. I don't know if there's enough room. Yeah, he's saying outperform though. I mean for me like a lot of What what does Alex want me to send? Yo, Jay, can you send me the list of questions for the interview? Fuck Alex! Yeah, I got you. We're training Jay's ass for Asia. Because there's so much spicy food. Actually, the thing about Jay is that he's so sensitive. Thank you! It's not thank you, thank you. spicy food that makes him explode. It's like just exotic spices. Stop talking about my ass and my explosion. It does, it does. That's what it does. Low numbers. Not okay, good. fine. I'm Low sorry. Numbers, I meant your full body you. release. Yeah. I mean, Team Falcons, you gotta say, this is what they do so incredibly well. They're still good on the honor, like you said, Jake. But on the other hand, you have Shu. These are the two best honor players in the game. Then you have Smurf Sometimes on the Sometimes I forget side, Jay is a white really boy. Back and forth, so it, it really was. Another player we mentioned during the highlights was Jumbin. And yeah, look. That dive composition is just beow, right beow, in their wheelhouse, and Jumping really beow, shown beow. here, Johnny. Yeah, there's a specific clip here that I wanted to showcase, of course, from Gibraltar. Chat, today's Point a good day. I checked my stocks, and I'm down 97%, and I sold. An Can I get a W? Buy <laughs> high, sell low. And then he's like, as well, following up, getting stalker because he committed three blinks and the recall Hello. immediately. And then they take this five versus four advantage to just keep steamrolling here. That is going to give lift positioning on the high ground, of course, as the winner as well. And Falcon's four to the this bar to try and stall out ball. the payload. <laughs> this is ball. This is ball. From Crazy Raccoon, Choran Pop at the rally to stay alive as well. And then he's uncapitalizing. For a second, I thought that was Hadi. Because Hadi used to be on London. Yeah. Yeah. Chat, you heard that? He's there to follow up on stalkers committedly. It's too. Wins. That <laughs> that is funny as shit. Break. One thing I really that's funny. That that's he, funny. He really knows the limit of the character. You I thought mean, that was hotty. J3 doppelganger. Check. It's a lot I'm easier not... to play a more passive style Stop of break it. and hold back and defend your teammates. You know, Stop it. You're supposed to. But that was funny. I like people like that. They make things funny. Bribe the actor. I did not pay that guy. 
that tiny little difference at all. If you die, if you overstep your bounds, nice. it's a huge mistake. It could lose your like team the game. Even if you succeed, you bait the dive and you, and you live, it might not be enough to pay off and, and actually be worth it. But Should Tony I sign so my own hat? With knowing that line, knowing the Hey, I could do a giveaway with it. Ball three. Sort of no, I, them, I, I, them I could do a giveaway with it. That creates a lot of opportunities from his, what? or for his what teammates. So that? Spectacular. Pedro? Pedro? On the oh, oh, that's I think Poco. I thought that said Pedro. Tonaki, Emily, Illusion, Flack. Flack is, you might not know him, he's a top 500 Reaper, but he owns Nightmare. SK, Boger, Hadi, Golden Boy. You can't stick it against Zoe. <laughs> that's right. That's that's uh, that's Poco. the conundrum here. Let's take a look at which maps is still I can get my own. I can get my own. Where are we taking it? Well. It's likely going to end up back in the mock up. Bald there. three. The like, can they avoid it? Certainly beer, want beer, to go back beer, to mock beer, And I beer, like this beer, King's Row pick. Beer, the one beer. other map I was thinking about in the pool, we didn't see it at all this tournament. That's a lot Hollywood, of people. That's cool. Sort of, there's some hope to play dive on second. I don't think it's actually good. Boger on there. Yeah. So Overwatch gave me a hat, and I just started collecting signatures. Four Falcons. I hope they might as well, the right? Echo, I feel this can, uh, can, can you get in focus? On the Genji. I think it's a bit can of a get in focus? Meta. I think the echo is too critical. Can you get in and focus? Falcons has to roll swap when they do their uh, Genji strat. They put proper on the Hello? Genji. Hello. There you go. The look. Reaper. I got I Flack, Illusion, Emily, Tonaki, Poco, Hadi, Boger, SK, Golden Boy, Questron. I can sign it myself, put J3, and I can do a giveaway. Look at that. That would be a good giveaway. Getting some thick value with that so energy cute. that comes in handy in this kind of meta as well. You do get to stay away from the echo, the focusing photo. beam. Oh, yeah, I'll get, I'll get to all of them at the end. end. But, so cute. Yeah, I agree with you. Thank you, I, thank I, you. I try to look good. Right on. Not well, that, logo that, that logo horse. What do you mean that logo horse? That logo right there that you see, uh, that I, horse? That's Torbjorn. That's Torbjorn, chat. Don't disrespect. Don't sign it or lower its value. How about I, Miguel? If I ever meet you, I'm gonna sign you. How about that? I feel this is do or die for Crazy Raccoon right here on King's Row. This is a place they need to get a win, right? We just got a little bit of at least emotional momentum winning that last map, feeling that you know we are good players. We can wait. That's real. Can you sign my tits? What? They're gonna be affected at all. You can just toss this result that okay, whatever Gibraltar, you win the Winston Mirror. Congrats, guys. Back to the meta, back to the mirror that we've been stomping you on. I mean, oh, if Crazy Raccoon, you're not gonna be feeling good going back to the huh? mirror, but you're gonna be forced to here oh. in Kings, and this is oh, a place okay. they can turn the series <laughs> around. If they win here, that'll at least huh? allow the cost pool to yeah, open no, back no, up, no. even if uh, Falcon strike back and win the next map. So for me, this is the moment that Crazy Raccoon can turn the series around. If they win here on Kings Row, the, the Chat, do you guys know what that is? If Wait, they is fall like here, I feel like it's gonna be a 4-1. Yeah. Despite though, even if you get off to a good start, that could be a huge oh. boon for this team Is as well. Because you want a map now, and then if you happen to get a Blue? spell Blue? momentum in the first round of King's Row, if you get spell momentum then, that could be, you know, Blaha. boost of energy, of course, and help oh. out the communication, maybe you can communicate I better. Didn't know that now, like, there's does seem so, like sharks. the difference is bigger than just communication. There is oh. something that Falcons is doing better in this Mirror, that. and we've covered it extensively on the There are more, you guys, you guys know more shit than I do. Like holding the space and protecting the space. Falcons are just overall better here. But if first of all, they start to get some momentum in this That's matchup, cool. that, that could that. potentially feed go some of the, the energy for the rest of the series. Indeed. Kuhn has initiated the comeback. Let's see if I they the can also just continue on that trajectory oh, and ride funny. that momentum. We'll that. find out very soon as we're heading into our next map. But first, we're going to send it over to Oh, okay, cool. Probably pick some of that out. Thank you so much for that, Zoe. Yes, so I'm joined by a special the guest. The trans uh, shark? Where are you from? I don't even know. I'm Jasmine. I'm from Virginia. What? Oh, that was the girl that. Oh! Was the photo with Jasmine. You. Fun fact I met Jasmine at Toronto last year for the last Overwatch League uh, event. And I was there too. I met her at Toronto. Aww. And I met her at DreamHack oh, Dallas. Yeah. And I met her here. Uh, oh, but you're wow. Crazy she's, fan she's a super fan. She's a super fan. What do you make of the series so far? They were able to get the win. How how did that make you feel in the moment? Oh, it was so exciting. I think they're playing amazing. I really think that this map was so crucial to the win that they're going to get. All right. All right. I like the positivity. Now, uh, of course, this is going to be a, a tough matchup for sure. Do you have a prediction of what you think Crazy Raccoon are going to be able to do here? I honestly, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to pull out of their pockets. But I know that they're going to do something wild up there. Oh, she's she's, she's nice. That's right. It could be a 4-2 result. We'll see. Now, Jasmine, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. We were there for the last. We're here for the first. And we'll be there. I mean, who knows, right? As far as we possibly can go. Guys, give it up for Jasmine. First time in Sweden here. She's awesome. 
Uh, she got a she got a good yeah I like that I like that when people cheer Thank for you so uh, much, GB. Hey, people. We just heard from a crazy raccoon fan. We have a Team Falcon fan here, Psycho from SSG. Psycho, we were just talking about that uh, talking about who's gonna win this match. You told me that it's gonna be Team Falcons. Do you have a reason why you're rooting for the Falcons? Well, I'm I'm rooting for raccoons to be honest, but I feel like Falcons will win the will win the game. Oh. They're better at the Mauga mirror, at the Mauga Echo Reaper mirror. So raccoons, what they're trying to do is pick as many non mauga maps as possible. So you'll probably see them go for Ilios next. But to be honest, there's not many non mauga maps <laughs> left. So I think Falcons will end up winning. Well, I mean, you did say you are rooting for Crazy Raccoons, but it's going to be, it, you feel like it's going to be Falcons winning the match. Uh, what do you think Crazy Raccoons can do in this situation to, I guess, overturn the result? Yeah, I mean, mauga is a pretty ult heavy comp, so it all depends how you use your ult. And I feel like. Raccoons Notice how Emily how stayed quiet when Jay complimented her. Poorly, it's crazy, right? Using, like, four ults at once and when did you compliment me? I don't know. I was just agreeing with him. Yeah. <laughs> Great point. Psycho, thank, thank you so much. Everybody, give it up for Psycho one more time. Thank you guys so much. Tennyson. When did Tennyson, I compliment you? Great to hear a little bit from Psycho there. In my opinion, I think the last compliment I said was the yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the person that was like at uh, the super fan. Around the team for a long time. Uh, I, that, I wasn't I wasn't yeah, directly directed at you. Coming out of that region. But he makes a great point. So we, we got we got a lot of yeah. fun. I was I talking about the fan named Jasmine. Well. Oh. We saw the we got to go back to a bit of our dive mirror. Notice how Jay notice how Emily stayed quiet when Jay but complimented still the question her. Of I didn't or hear it. Can actually I, in, I said in this she was a really yeah, I think good that, uh, fan or something. Or something. And I met her three times or something. I I didn't hear like a particular compliment though. Yeah, I mean, I was the one that told Jay like she just posted something about you on Twitter. It was a photo together. Horrific back there where you win a map, right? You make some subs, we go to King's Row. Like now you're kind of. Finally, Mitch's shirt is tucked in. Yeah, it's something that's less tangible, I guess, than what we sort of speak. Where else did you meet her? The girl that was up there, Jasmine? Jasmine and I. She goes to a lot of um, Overwatch events. She was in Toronto. That's where I first met her. Uh, Toronto, and then she went to DreamHack uh, Dallas, and then she was also DreamHack Sweden. She's like, Emily mentioned it, she's like one of those super fans, which is cool, because if I go to events and I see someone that I recognize, I mean, that's that's cool. I feel like Jasmine's probably been to more live events than you. Probably. Yeah, you I, I recently regret. started leaving your house. I, I regret not going to more Overwatch events, because they are amazing. Jay, what are you supporting? Uh... I'm supporting whatever team Emily's not supporting. <laughs> so Emily said in the beginning, Falcons. I said Crazy Raccoons. But to be honest with you, I think we both want a really good game that's not a sweep. I think yeah. four zeros are boring as shit. Match sevens are crazy. Uh, that's, what, that's what we want to see. We both agree on that. We want this win or lose. We, we don't really have a dog in this fight. But we want this to be as long as possible because lots of people... Including this one right here paid a lot to be in Stockholm. We want a good fight. Yes, I chat. Just to let you guys know, I paid over four hundred thousand dollars to be here. If I had that, I'd be paying off my mortgage. In the Messi game, Max was that Romarca played that off came in right. We, we sort of feel like Junbin has maybe more flexibility yeah. or shows us like the Wrecking Ball option. The Malk has been very, very good. We also saw that great... That's a down payment for a house? Oh, no, also. trust me. I would so never... I don't what think I would ever spend $400,000 to go travel somewhere. I feel like you could do a lot more industry. with that money. Yeah. $400,000? Yeah. You could probably just buy like an island somewhere, like a no-name island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ray, right, you would love to have... Oh, my God. Buy a no-name island out of nowhere. Put some computers on it. And then whoever loses a 1v1... That is set to death. Doing it now, right? yeah. Somebody like Toronto, YouTube video. Right? I could be the next Mr. Really Beast. Like all of the tanks death that we Island. see in the meta at like an extremely high level. That, that's, uh, you know, obviously just a one You don't think it's enough? I feel like he could be a, 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 a gazillionaire NBA, in Venezuela or something. Right. It would have had a little bit more flexibility. Yeah, for stolen Fine, chase, we'll buy right? <laughs> a village, a remote like village somewhere. That could be Jay's little King's tax Road. haven. Now, and call it Death Village. You play Overwatch there, and if you lose, you're sentenced to death. Who do you guys challenge? 1v1. Oh, you're right. They did bring them out. Hey, love how I can watch Jay now on Twitch and IRL. Where are you? 
What do you mean? What do you, where are you? What do you mean IRL? So they'll just have Max come there's in Hanbin, here, there's play that Jinbin, and, and then there's Boobin. Because the, the desk is pointed out, right? And we've been talking about it, right? The positioning maybe from Jinbin at times. Hey, wait. What do you mean you can now watch me IRL? You, what do you mean? And on Twitch, you just followed my stream. Maybe where are they? Here. Yeah, they said they can watch me IRL and on Twitch. Okay, let's see this. Come on, come on, Crazy Raccoons. We got a, we're rooting for the blue team now, chat. Use another account. Oh, you're good, you're good. Stalker keeps looking quiet from that high ground. Does Alex need anything? Was on the point. Oh, a lot of cardiac overdrive going on right now. Harper needs most of that focus to beat, though. The damage from Heastang was right where it needed to be. Oh, someone was asking who... They didn't know who Max was. Max is on Crazy Falcons. Uh, crazy... Crazy Falcons. Crazy Raccoons. Right, both stomps come in. The cardiac overdrives, but... Yo, wait, Boobin, where are you? Eliminates all Falcons staying power on the point. Heastang's not back yet. Nice little pick there on the back foot by Stalker means the Crazy Raccoon have to play off the point entirely. So in the choke and through the hotel, other defenders set up. They're going to try and punch through the choke now. I think it's Crawl just plays out in the open and charge to the point for Max. And then Cage 5 going to be thrown down and Dead Blossom nice. in as well. So much damage thrown into the mix. Stalker nice. Come on. Come on. Falling. The lift doesn't seem to be bothered playing inside that orbit array, but uh -oh. now it's no. too much to handle. Stalker with the Doom from Dead Blossom leaves it up to Heastag as he copies a Malga. Falcons so get in there and get the result. Yeah, I mean, just guy with the big sword. Get Stalker, get guy with the big sword. Like, uh, you know, obviously the big guy with the big sword. Are you near me? I don't see big sword. Do you see big sword? I don't see big sword. Oh, over there. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Oh, shit. That's funny. Holy shit, chat. He wasn't lying about a big sword. Yo, can I, can I show chat the big sword? Like Dropping some black kid, uh, black cat skin mega bundle codes. Codes are first through the redeeming on Battle.net. E Battle.net, get each one only. Oh shit! Two codes right there for you, Chad. Thank you, uh, Katie. Nice. Can, can I see it? Immediately vaporize under the pressure of this man. I mean, proper has had a tremendous. Good morning, J3. Bringing back some sweet yeah. balls, please. Eat food. Lower I got like, codes exactly in the, in the for black ones. <laughs> like taking off angles. Right? Uh, black hat skin. Sneaking up on some of the supports there for Crazy Raccoon and just making an overall. No, I was gonna say black skin. Impact. <laughs> black hat skin. A lot of payload progress here. Gotten by Falcons. Okay. They're gonna get towards this final corner. <laughs> what? Crazy Raccoon had a couple of good. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get uh, Boobin to come over here so I, I can uh, show you guys his sword. Oh. That was a valiant attempt from Lib, but too bad it fell short. Oh, okay. No, you're good. From one fight to another. They've now built up ahead of speed, and they're into the last phase of the map. I mean, two Reapers with a rally going in. Team well. Falcons is popping Four off. Blima! Preach myself to your three for 19 Crazy months. Happy Hi, Sunday. Blima. Good morning. Good morning. Team Falcons makes quick work of that second checkpoint. I think if you're Crazy Raccoon, you have an advantage here you know, with that double support off. You've got to use it, right? Get up to that corner, get an early fight win, start to up the pace. And Crazy Raccoon frustrated. It's not been working out. Even when Max coming in to relieve Jumpin. There it is. Okay, to oh, that's right. It's Blima's birthday today. Happy oh, birthday, happy Blima. birthday, Blima. Yo, I hope you're gonna have a great Sunday, great weekend. And an important stop here for Crazy Raccoon now. 3:45 to play, but a chance at least to breathe. Yeah, it's an absolutely mandatory fight with their poor Crazy Raccoon. Shu using the orbital rate early on. Proper Happy comes in with a death blossom. That death blossom has shown off that like rally go for a stun. They do it proper fast, but Falcons at that like point probably is okay with the result. Happy they birthday, Vlima. Fight, but seeing both the portals gone, so it's probably okay with it. Our new free for Proper not quite ready for it, but he's has to back away. There's an orbital ray in play for Team Falcons, and they've almost flipped the map. Trace Raccoon on the outside. It's a joke. It's from Madagascar. He's then goes to the high ground first, but he's duped here. He's eventually going to drop down. He's Chad is dumb. He's going to have a chance for any death loss of Max here. He's back in Echo 4. There's a cage fight active though for Max now, and he's then going to just play around the fringes of it. It's 
Chio to Choro. That's the trade with a later case fight for Hartman now. He's a death loss of a lip. Okay, this is not looking good for Crazy Raccoon. Out these small value trades. Yeah, the duplicate comes in there for he's saying, right? But because of that orbital array, they like flip sides of the map. No, Jay, they're no young. No Madagascar is a very... It's not an old thing when the Madagascar come out. I don't know, like 100 years ago? Still a lot of time on the clock here. I don't know. Nowadays it is kind of old. Nah, dude, that's no way, man. I forgot my chat's probably like nine years old or something. When Stalker goes with this dude, though, of the Reaper, Crazy Raccoon needs to deal with him back. Oh, was it 2008? 2005? Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. It was. It's older than Oh, no, it's going to be an extra Malga coming in here for Stalker. Field is going to hold the front line here with that rally, and Max just gets blown to smithereens. Wow, what a stun. Oh my goodness, two whole minutes. Wow. Jeez. One of the only times we've seen him go for the Malga there over the top. Right near towards the end of the map. That is crazy. I was born there. You were born in Madagascar? That's cool. How old is Jay? I just turned 18. In an area away from the car. At that point, Falcons Oak felt like they were playing with house money. With both of their DPS ultimates online, it's a respectable two minutes and three seconds in time bank. It, it's also huge for Falcons, right? Because you know, as we were talking about, like the vibes for Crazy Raccoon, right? You're starting to pick up a little bit. You win Gibraltar in a big way, going back, like, hey, maybe we got something going here. And Falcons just comes out here in the first half. And he's like, Wait, that's know, that's crazy, chat. You guys are saying just raccoons just are just not as good as in Manga Metal, but you got to remember in Dreamhack Dallas, I think Manga was meta, and Crazy Raccoons won Dallas. With the stop petition of Max in here. It, not entirely, to be honest. Uh, no, we haven't really. You're not going to play anything different here on King's Row, right? Uh, you're going to have to play. I mean, what? In theory, so why like, wouldn't Ball work? Because Jumpin's like, really good at wrecking Ball. And, uh, go against that because it's a Brawl. Like, sorry, brawl meta. Like, I mean, Brawl map. We know that. So I think you're just kind of looking at so maybe Would Junker we Queen work? Yeah. Was talking about it, not the best of positions. Maybe you're just trying to I mean, we saw Junker Queen yesterday, but remember? I know Kellen plays it a lot, the but I don't think here. I've seen anyone else play Junker Queen. Play like Junker Queen could be good. Crazy Raccoon, hope to blow straight past them and get a bigger time. I really want to see Team Raccoon win this. Gonna have to be quick. It, yeah, and considering, right? Uh, Ooh, you know, it could be a draw, actually. That's it could be a draw, so yeah. It's going to be Crazy Raccoon here on offense. Echo took out Echo. That's funny. Wow, he's doing some crazy comms. Nice! Look how fast hey, they cap that. Uh, no, nice. A little bit to take that first Come on, guys. Come on, crazy raccoons. Get it. That's really weird. I'm, I'm, I want to know, chat, do you guys know more about this than me? Why are they playing Max instead of uh, their original tank that they were playing with in the beginning? Max is probably just better at Malga. So why would you not use the Max in the beginning? Because maybe Jumbin is better. Or maybe Jumbin just needs a break. You know, sometimes at Grand Finals, it's, it's a bit Nerve-wracking. Yeah, they've been playing so long, they, they don't need a break. Wow. And the orbital ray in those chokes. Wow. And the death blossom there. Robber on cleanup duty. A team Because like earlier there, they're, uh, they Falcons played Winston, is, right, on Gibraltar. Tough, right? Yeah, but that's Gibraltar. I understand yeah. that. They're, they're going to switch out characters there. But, uh, you can play with that Reaper right on that off angle, right? The Mog on the other side. Echo yeah, I think there's some like stuff the prescribed to a lot of esports players that allows them to play all day. Looks like they all day. It seems like for Max, but I don't know if they're going to be able to finish him off. Looks like they fought the fight on the corner to Crazy Raccoon, but that case is now down. He's like stunned up briefly, looking for a shoulder charge connection, but doesn't find it. Would have been stalked for his intended target. He's able to slip through and get no. you. Wow, we actually saw kind of a reaper roll without any deaths. Wow, they're tracking and like just this insane. You know, with Crazy Raccoon, they go around the corner and they use that cage fight, and you get Hanbin in it. 
when you do not get that kill on the Hanbin, and also, like, Yildur doesn't even pop that rally during that, right? So then the, the case right goes away. You come back, you use the rally, then you have a, a healed up Hanbin, you push right on through with the Death Blossom and the Reaper there from Stalker. It's a, it's a, that's a Mossman scenario early there for Crazy Raccoon. They don't win it early. I think they made a lot of time bled off the clock. Stalker needs to get into the fight here, but he's looking for the haste tank first and foremost. On the okay, no, this is this is okay. It looks bad, but next fight, Lip is gonna come back with the fattest death blossom. Focusing beam finishes them off. As now, I mean, look at how bad this is, right? They they got two plus minutes off the clock. And Robert just goes in way too deep because you're gonna have double support all right? You could have still just played this show. That's good. That's actually really good. If he gets to the cart, get a little bit of cart push before they stop it. Look at that tracking. Ooh. Uh, yeah, but it feels like proper. I mean, you're pushing so deep there. You don't necessarily need that. You would have had a huge ultimate advantage in terms of supports there. You could have played at that corner yet again. We, we'd be about, uh, you know, two minutes on the clock. Chad's right? stalking you. Two you. Minutes. You're in a great hmm. spot there. Not going to lie, Lip has been selling a lot of results. That's what I'm saying. Lip looking a little chapped today out here in Stockholm. Must be the weather. Stalker. There we go. Emily doesn't want to sit right now. She wants to stand. Nice, nice. What I tell you? That is huge. There is. Oh, I don't want to stand right now, Lena, because um, I smell body odor coming from somewhere, and I'm exactly like downwind of it. But if I stand, I am out of the. Danger zone. It's not me. No, it's not. I need to actually take a whiff of Jay from time to time to stay sane. Thank you. I showered today. He's kind like heaven. Yeah, losing that one player, they're losing the echo. Slows them up. Yeah, you lose Jay needs a diaper change. It's not. Lip, uh, Lip is the one who kind of has to make a play there, right? Up on that high ground, needs to try and find a pick on a supporter of the Echo. All right, two Reapers in play. He's then goes for the Duke now. And there's a focusing beam from Stalker. He's waiting in the wings, but he's the Heastank. Nice little Ooh, they're again. out of supports, though. Ooh. Nice. That's nice. To have a time bank lead at the end of this map. Good job, good job. What do they have uh, they did something the differently. Defense. I don't know it's the, if it's the blue and the orange. But like on the defensive side, it's gonna be the copies be and like that, like the glowing of the blue, it just one of these support the game. It looks really nice. Especially when like they copy a Reaper and the Reaper's teleporting, it looks so nice. Oh, he popped his rally and he died. That's not good for crazy. Just a bluff. They're still lacking that fifth player in Choro. Hey, Okay. Gonna go for it again. Cage fight here for Grace Raccoon. They're trying to catch the overextended Falcons inside of it. But Prop is uh -oh. gonna be there with oh, the Kent Blossom. Dead. Disco dancing in the middle yeah. of the fight. It's gonna be Lip to bring him down. Who has a Blossom of his own here. Harbin turns tail, gets back to the rest of his team. Being Crazy Raccoon, they use a Cage fight and an Orbital Ray there. They still come out on the bad side in terms of the trades. Those are oh, it's like the almost got his ult. Like was talking about layering their charges his ult fast. How do you say his name? Right there. You Charong? Charong? Who didn't get a full team fight with? No, it gets the high ground. You mentioned how important that is. I mean, to be honest with you, you did mention it before. I don't know if they needed that ult. They already got the kill. Yeah. Finally, Crazy Raccoon is forward, but they have no chance of being ahead on time bank here. They just need to finish the map. No, it's gonna be a dupe here from East Tank. He's gonna go for the brick just to try and stay alive. It's worked out so far. A rally could be built up here, and he's gonna have eight seconds of dupe still to work with. Maybe superfluous, maybe nice. Nice. Yeah, that's have pretty big brain of East Tank. Yeah. Coffee yeah. break, especially when well. she was dead. It's gonna be a case right. They actually catch the brick. All right, Chorong down first. Yeah, Ch what, what's that, that's Chorong doing? That crazy I know, down to four. That is brutal stuff. I mean, they waste tanking. Not, not really. They they have to cap with time. If they don't cap with time, then they they have to. And, and if they do cap, they get they have to play for a tie. 
Monster, absolute free kill there. Running for Crazy Raku, they've got to go for it. Stomp comes in, Harp is going to be knocked down, but choose no, the one that falls from the sticky bomb. The defense is imperious right now. Falcons do lose Harpin though. Frontline missing. Stalker trying to replace him in the meantime with his dude, but by God, it's worked. Now charging into the fight. Good stop, but he's going to get a cage fight off as well. Stalker can do it all. No. Max trying to get away, but there's no chance for a full fight for the attackers. I mean, now you're below 10 seconds. You're in such a horrible scenario. Max may not even be able to make it back. They're gonna catch no, going on they're, the no, to get they're not there. touching. Okay. Max does get out, but he needs oh. a long time to get healed oh, back he's up. saying touch from, from the back. Touch here for Chorum, but he has to give up his life now. It's going to be a dupe use there. Stalker switching over to the Cassidy and proper dives deep into the master players from Crazy Oh, Rangers. this is not good. And no. not much you can really they're too staggered. Wow. 3-1. Holy shit. I think there's a break right here. The gap here on these I was really hoping there'd be a draw, but... As Falcons. Although, I know Crazy Raccoon, they get off to a great start, right? I know they the second point, though. Falcons start to put together some defense there towards the end. Uh-oh. The, the chat, times. this is match point. I, mean, I don't know. Could be bad. Could be bad. In real time. Using a lot of these ultimates in fights that are just not winnable. Uh, and then just Maybe this is what Crazy Raccoon needs to light really, the fire uh, under no their asses. Right there, True, that's what I'm saying. Out. Ooh, that was a good stretch. Ooh. Ooh, what the hell is this? The rally, oh, the switch. Oh, thing. Uh, those are things that at, at this level, in this match, cannot happen. And it's a crash back down to reality for Crazy the Crazy Raccoon. Crazy Raccoon is going to sign LeBron for that 3-1 comeback. Man, what, what's a 40-year-old man going to do, chat? Just JK. I, I, if I go on the stage, I'd win. Do it for the old, old people. But they rumble at the end of that defensive half. Two minutes available yeah. to their opponents. A lot to talk about here, but one thing is for sure. Team Falcons are, well, they're far from done. Let's head to the desk and talk about what lies ahead and what we just saw. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Back to the desk, back to the wrinkly brains of Johnny and Jake. And I'm here to guide us through... Uh, what's going on up there. Uh, there. There is, of course, uh, a switch up we're seeing here in this next map. We're taking it to King's Row. Falcons obviously wants to go back to that MAGA world we're all living in currently. Mm. But Crazy Raccoon that came into this making adaptations. Max is coming in, so we have a different type of MAGA player, and we saw that difference in playstyle very early on. Yeah, I felt Max was, was looking pretty good at the start. I mean, I don't think uh, it's really up to just the tank to radically reshape things, but that's the hand you're dealt as Crazy Raccoon. I think this makes a lot of sense. This is the position you're in in the Grand Finals. Give Max a shot. See if this adjustment can be enough. It looked pretty decent, but man, it's this guy on your screen, screen Stalker, huh? still so I think it's gone on Echo. Huh? Yeah, I, think I mean, going into this clear. match so far in the Marga meta today, gone. Crazy <laughs> Raccoon's still 0-5. So you need to change something up, right? I think Unless at this point you realize back. that they are not favored in this Malga matchup at all, so you stop in Max instead. I we need more time so far signatures. Most notably against Ron the Defiant, I believe, yesterday. But so far, you know, Falcons, they look so dominant in this matchup. Stalker, like you mentioned, Jake, so good on this Echo as well. And they continue to oh, get Black value. Cat Codes. Note the, the codes earlier I dropped were Soldier 76 whatsoever. Mythic Skin Codes. So Run making up for the confusion. Ah, I appreciate it, Katie. Chat, can I get a W for Katie? So get ready. There's two codes. Actually, you guys are probably not going to be able to spam W. You guys have to claim that code. Oh, what ducky. Really oh, this deck. <laughs> what happened to the big sword? I don't know where he is. I asked him for the big sword. I don't know if he's listening to my stream still. Yo, the guy with the big sword. Can I see? Can I see it? Can I see it? Yo! I feel Crazy Raccoon lacks their usual composure. I think they feel how difficult this air match is for them, how strong Falcons are in this comp, how good their read is. And there's a lot of moments here where Falcons, it feels like they're forcing it. Rather, sorry, Raccoon feel like they're forcing it because that's. That's all they have left now, right? Is to force hero plays to go for broke. But Falcons, they are waiting with open arms, ready for that kind of. You I know, told you guys it was a big sword. The proper ults. here in this final Dude, fight. Two got picked off like two or Look three at times that. on the spawn. This is awesome. That is not this normal. Is, this that is, is really not well done. It's like sturdy and heavy. Are putting the screws to them. Look at, bro. I mean, he's so ready to pick the. I'm gonna be honest with, with you. I'm gonna show my age. Is this Final Fantasy? Because I'm gonna be honest with you. When I looked at this, I thought that was Inchigo from Bleach. Give it to Emily. Time back there, so it would have still been a struggle. 
are we seeing here reinforced? Yeah, I mean, it's been even oh so Oh my god, it's so heavy. Match, right? It's all about securing the frags, but there's so much sustain. Life steal going on as well, because, uh, you know, Falcons got a rift rate. They're doing such a great job utilizing the Cordia Fade Drive to keep their Reaper alive, and as well as your Echo alive <laughs> in these Death Blossoms as well. You pointed it out, Jake, as well, that, you know, the life oh, steal is from Final Fantasy. Especially, you know, yeah. there's still so much healing going on, and so you see that proper pace Thank with you, Fancy Slay. with his Mauga. The Cardiac Overdrive enables proper to go deep into the backline find picks because he has that trust of the Reaper lifesteal, but also with the Cardiac Overdrive, and that is making a massive difference for them. Yeah, and you're you talking know, about see, how the, the, Some like of the things that people bring here side, is, like, so badass. That is actually so fucking cool. Yeah, it's, it's hard not to be in that position. Oh, right damn. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was, uh... Sh I, I, they, I don't think they were on their, their account there. They it was said, Boobin. Yeah, Boobin. But I think Boobin said it was not mirror. their account. Where, yeah. you know, I don't know. Falcons maybe it was. Slight player disadvantage. They're down one from the last oh, fight. Maybe, so maybe, it, the maybe it was the their account. Tries to snowball forward, but <laughs> no. Falcons are just ready for it. They're not just is that an Overwatch Christmas the, sweater? You know, yes, this is an Overwatch Ugly Christmas sweater. I got it at BlizzCon in 2016. My first BlizzCon I went to. I don't think they sell this one anymore, though. Someone else actually wanted it as well. I, I remember I was in the back and someone unshakable from saw your sweater and wanted it and I said, oh, I, I don't think... Only getting saw my sweater in the back, where? Oh, Julian actually yeah, wanted it. But oh, yeah, I don't think they sell this one anymore. This, kind of this was back in 2016. It says it actually right here. Does it? Uses his assist overrun as Says well, and that has to peel back for it. We see a duplicate come in onto the Mauga, and no, then Falcons are going to push the momentum. Oh. We love to talk about momentum on this desk, yeah. at least I do. And you see a clear example here of Well, how nobody asked, but I'm also food. wearing a one-of-a-kind tracksuit. True, true, chat. If you guys look right here, it says twitch.tv slash J3, and it says J3. Dumbass bitch idiot in Japanese. You have two running you down, pushing into your spawn. That is what Falcons do great. They recognize the momentum. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, keep going, keep going. That's what that is. Two Malgas running you down? Yeah. Do not like that. Keep no, going, keep going. Oh. Or you get two Reapers. Both hearts you know? pumping. Like, have, have fun, have fun. Uh, yeah, I hope, no, not a position I hope he comes back. Quite frankly, um, it's, it's rough, right? That's this crazy. This is match point now for Team Falcons. They are this that close. That is crazy, <laughs> chat. That, that is crazy. Body slam her, Jay. So I can't. She lifts well more than me. We'll get to chat with the two gentlemen here on the desk. So any final thoughts you have before we're heading into the action? Jake, starting with you. It's proper time, man. Do you want to sit down? Oh, I guess you're right. I can sit down now. Yeah, do you want me to so take, just take all this stuff off? Put it right here. No, no, no. I don't think Purse that's on the floor, money out the door. I think this is proper. I don't know what that means. In the sun. Proper I looking to catch his I first like world final championship trophy. So put it on Probably my backpack. <laughs> And purse on the floor is money out the door. Purse on the floor, everybody's poor. Very, very close to get themselves the title of our inaugural season. Well, I don't, I don't get it. Champion. It's just a rhyme. It doesn't make any sense. It's just I thought it was supposed to make sense. We're heading <laughs> into all the action, though. We want to throw it back to an Yeah, the floor is dirty, Jay. The, team, uh, the floor is not dirty. They just put this floor down for us. This is a new brand new floor, 2024. <laughs> Everybody, Danny Lim here. Okay. Welcome to OWCS World Finals. Give me oh, a word. Know. Give me, give me a word to rhyme with. Uh, a lovely time with a word these three gentlemen. Hi, everybody. Stockholm. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Okay, 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 okay. Seattle's <laughs> glory of the living. That's a good word. <laughs> Stop thinking of a crazy word that I can't rhyme with. <laughs> Whoa, crazy raccoons everywhere. Stockholm, yeah. it feels like after home. But, you guys won Dallas, but the thing is, EWC, you guys seem unbeatable. That's not rhyming. You're just using you know, the same happened. sound. Uh, it was Korea stage and also it was in the Asia main stage that you guys unfortunately lost. Tell us how you guys felt afterwards. <laughs> Any word? Hellraiser, thank you for the six months. Okay, okay, I got a good one. Gothenburg. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Get out of here. Got the bird. You guys unfortunately didn't get first place in two of them. Do you guys feel like... Oh, okay, okay. okay. Traveling to Gothenburg. Like Make sure I don't hit an iceberg. Ooh. <laughs> it is cold. 
favorite moments you in first year. Look like you got WCS some mold. A lot of matches. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have your personal. Oh, favorite my favorite thing that chat that says is that you're that bold, you but they would spell bald. I don't know why. I like that. Oh, how about bald? Bald. A. No, I'm not bald. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a word. People will say bald. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're basically just using <laughs> bald. <laughs> okay. Bald, bald. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure one day. At least I'm not. At least I'm not like that guy. Stockholm kind of rhymes with toothpaste if you think about it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, 그거 그거 좋다. 갑자기 생각났다. MVP 받고 anything can rhyme with Stockholm. You got a special watch, right? The Porsche watch was it? No. Are you are you actually using the Porsche watch that you got from Dallas? Yeah. Bought it. IKEA. I'm bought it. I'm bought it. 주무장사. I'm bought it. Huh? IKEA. 진짜 진짜 솔직히. Come up with a rap about IKEA. Oh, 진짜? I can't do that. IKEA. All right, let's talk about your rivals. Is it Team Falcons? Europe team. I We don't all look the same. Get glasses. I couldn't do it. I don't have it on this computer. I actually am. Oh, Rin Band. Okay, that's cool. Yo. Yo, yo, hey, my name is Emily, nah, I don't get any Emily. Emily. Oh, I think they are taking a break. Oh, how long is this break? Is it enough time to play Hazard? No! Okay, Jesus! No! I gotta go pee, though. I, I can probably wait, unless they come back. Yo. Hey. Mm. Uh. Can Emily understand them? You, I don't think, can you understand them? Uh, yeah, they're just saying, you know, right, instead of uh, experimenting with heroes so and then, <laughs> right, you know, they said bye. fighting. Were Good you luck. reading yeah. the subtitles? We might oh, well I, be on the I can't read. English is my second language. That is true. Yeah. That is Quick true. Well, hopefully you can read this because we got a cat downstairs. <laughs> Let's look at there's a cat downstairs. No, I don't speak Korean. I'm very good with Korean food. It's been a long year and a long climb at the summit. Just yeah, and hearing Lib talk about Falcons saying so they're not playing that great. Yeah, but maybe you need to stop giving out food. As long as you put food out there, she will keep eating. What could yeah, be and she's supposed to lose weight. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe I uh, stop we'll putting food out there. Yet again in terms of tanks. So we went to Nash there so for precious. King's Row. Now back to Junbin. So both of our teams here have reset to their initial permutations that came out at the start of this series. Oh, at her is oh how about King. that? Stay alive in this series and find she's a way thick. to succeed in this kind of metagame. We're moments away how much mess from finding out, folks. Strap in. Well, how do you know it's noodle? Strap on. Cole! Sit, strap in. Let's get it, chat. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, uh, get it. Get it. Uh, uh, get it, get it, hey. History could be made here and now. Falcons has an opportunity to lift this trophy, but can Crazy Raccoon stop them? Let's get the countdown on the screen. Come on, Crazy Raccoons, you got this. It's your map pick. Take it to a non- Here we go. As it comes up, I'm gonna need you guys to count with me. Let's do this. Non-Maga map. 10, 9, 8, 7, It's showtime! It's showtime! What, Ishperanza? Yeah, we're teaching people how to count the two things. It's last match. It's not last match. If they win this, it's 3 2. Yeah, as we head over to Esperanza, I mean, who's really counting outside of all these people? But as we head over to Esperanza, I don't want this to be the last match. That means there's only 10 minutes remaining, and that's the end. Are they going to be crown champions in 10 minutes, chat? Yes or no? This just in. Virtually indistinguishable. We are about to Crazy witness Raccoon, though, that's bad news. who the first champion the series winner of the OWCS. Yes. The Ladies and gentlemen, 
might allow them to find an edge, but really, it doesn't matter where they're fighting him. The nope. Okay, they're both playing Marga. GG. No. You know what that means. Team Falcons. <laughs> they won. How they played these fights. You know what? That would be funny. Imagine if they actually just stopped running the, this comp and just ran something completely like, like, like Roadhog, Bastion, Junkrat. Yeah, and first fight here is massive, how it usually always is on push. You see, he was proper with the TPs, getting that off angle yet again, like we've been talking about, doing a tremendous job, taking these off angles, putting pressure on the supports. Chu and Choro. Guys, creeping up. He's staying noticed and trying to get in position, so he's able to save the flank attempt off for the time being, but Proper is never one to be kept down for long. He's now going to push up there as well. Good yes. Knocked to the ground. Yes. Make sure he doesn't get up. Yeah, no. Time, it'll be Fraser Akut picking up Smurf right away. Damn, that's now crazy. When someone gets low health, their supports just heal. It's crazy. I don't see this in rank. Nice tracking. Oh my god. His tracking looked like he was cheating. Wait, jumping can actually win if someone can just... Oh my god, he's got his death boss already. That's insane. You don't even turn it into anything, right? I mean, it's just one meter of progress here for Falcons. Just the bot taking two steps the other way. But I mean, Proper's already built up towards the boss. Proper just again always Wait, asking how for a little is it bit that Proper already got his ult the and Lip is S60? Lip probably died first and, and Proper has stayed alive the whole fight. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, at least Crazy Raccoons won Dallas, which was a major, but it was not a grand final. Uh, sorry, champion. No, that was a minor. This is a major, right? No, they were both majors. Major. What was the? What was Dallas? Dallas was a major, right? It was a major? The wall's gonna be broken, but Shu is the first to fall here. Crazy Raccoon put it together. Choron's rally here goes a long way. Oh god, Lip is being... Okay, okay, okay good, they stabilized. Yeah, and they didn't give away the checkpoint. Always better, right? If you can kind of time it perfectly, right? Where you want to be. Jay, go on stage and help Raccoon a little bit. Later, but if I went on stage and I played for Lib, I, the score would end up being 4-3, uh, Crazy Raccoons winning. So I, I, I feel like I should let other people have fun and, and, and play the game. There's me playing for them is just going to be unfair, chat. Yeah. Hey, Slashy, Jay, and I are going to be sweeping for the remainder of this month. Yeah, we're going to go to. Gothenburg, and then we're gonna come back and chill out in Stockholm and expl uh, explore Stockholm for a little bit. We're gonna try every single meatball under the sun. What if we go to Ikea, pretend, pretend like we work there, and help people find furniture? Um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to help people who probably speak Swedish, and you're not gonna be able to help them. So we're gonna probably be like the only English-speaking workers at that Ikea. Yo, Mechanical, please bounce 40 months. Alright, that's checkpoint here for Falcons. Grim tidings for Raccoon's fans. She go, whoa, not expecting that. That's good. That's a good pick from, from Lib. Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, no. You should have no, no. no. popped out a lot earlier. So I feel like he had his ult and he was shooting his low health. He, he, instead of shooting your speed, you should have shot your ult. Moral of the story was... Supports? Yeah, of opportunity here, right? heal. Give up Supports got to heal. Don't, don't try to support your team by like speeding them. Support them by healing them. Be a healer. Oh, nice. You got this. Briggs got nothing on you. Yes. Nice. Oh, why would you Reaper ult that? 
Why would yeah, you? I'm Come on, Proper, you're better than that. Some of these ultimates, almost like we were talking about Brother! These ultimates together, not using what them. was that? That was like a J3 ult. Falcons there. They end up using their dupe. They end up using their blossom. Dude, I'm about to be honest with you. If those are the ults that get you into the champion uh, grand finals of the OWCS, let me fucking be in there, Chad. I'll be a, I'll be amazing. I think for the shits and giggles, you definitely should come up with a new team, like Overwatch 2.0. I should. Jaws, Jaws mentioned that. Yeah. Maybe you can get someone who's more serious. Yeah. This time. Nice! Nice! That's what I'm talking about. Everyone loves comebacks. Kim K, you heard about that? She likes comebacks. <laughs> so she got famous. On the line is Falcons still because these fights have gone so it. fast in favor of Crazy Raccoon. All right, Nothing it's going to be a fat him. blossom. They're going to take a timing here. Crazy Raccoon always looking for these bursts. To he needs to do it now before Fielder gets his ult. Probably going to wait for the support to come out. Right? Okay. He forced the right to work. Might have to use one of his own, but he goes forward. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a telegraph ult. No, 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 no. That was a telegraph ult. Oh, no. Come on, guys. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to run straight in a straight line, get close to them, and use your fade probably? Nah, Chad, that's telegraph, bro. That's telegraph. The telegraph. But it doesn't matter. They took the lead. That's good. Yo, Zero, thank no you for the 100 bits. Right, right on that off angle. And now you're allowing Chorong to come in yet again with another round. I can't round, believe they're right? doing so repros like this, bro. You're taking some of these little opportunities here for Crazy Raccoon to give you some better opportunities by Dafter in terms of having that ultimate advantage. He let Force proper to Wraith walk away at a pretty important time. I think Falcons probably needed him for just the damage trades in the front line there. But he got spooked by the seven foot gaming warlord. We go again. Crazy Raccoon want to reestablish some degree of control. Good rally. Oh, oh. oh no. no. And there we go. Ten player kill streak. Yeah, and that's the, that's the rally. I that was that was a team. much better ult. The they might get the lead Taking off so that too. They only they have 22 meters. Falcons now. Yo, Ty, pre at 245 minutes, my friend. Duplicate to work with here. Oh, this is gonna be Man. confusing. Fine. Stalker and Proper have been so good. Throughout this one, proper in the last fight, can Stalker come no, up no, big no, here? No, 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 no. close now to getting into the lead. Chorom already set upon by proper. The guy is this absolutely is ravaged. Stalker ends up duping the Malky here and just sort of falls away from the fight. Maybe he's staying in his wake. Crazy Raccoon still have that slim lead and look to stop the Falcons in their tracks. And proper's playing it carefully. KG used the part around the enemy Malka as he wants to go forward. Lip left the pot away for a brief time, but Falcons are dominant in the fight. And that was really awesome to see that type of POV, right? Because no, I don't want to see this. Smurf uses the charge, goes on him, and he puts up it doesn't matter. Engine. They still have two minutes. They can still take the lead back. His mobility to get them in the air, go away. But they just kind of leave Chorong out to dry. They deal with Chorong. It's a dupe on the manga onto the bot, right? So Stalker is able to live there with his support. My eyes hurt play a little because bit I don't know what I'm watching. And that's how Falcons <gasps> gains an edge. Look, I'm going to be happy for Team Falcon the because... Edge. I'll tell you, Coach Krusty was really salty that Raccoon beat them in Dallas. They were super sad. But this is not how I wanted Crazy Raccoon to go out. Brutal. Another two minutes left. And you're going to have the orbital rate plus blossom. Yeah, yesterday was 128 meters zero, and they came back a lot. So it's doable. Falcons not only want to win by meterage, they want to slam the door home. What a statement to make to end it here. Jumbin charges in, but he's already down to half health. Shoe with a bit of a late orbital right here, but no harm, no foul. Crazy Raccoon still have five to work with. Dead Blossom's come out now. Proper a little bit of fine one inch. Oh, flip. God, no. The Reapers are off the table. Both teams now operating with three. Falcons, of course, still in an aggressive start, but he's staying for the... Nice. Good shake. Good shake. Keep it up. 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 Nice. Nice trade. Nice trade. Good shit. Yeah, but this is... They need to get a... They need to get a 44 meters. But this is going to be it. You have to play perfect. Damn. I don't know what's going on with Lip, but he definitely doesn't look You're probably going to need at least two, three fights here to get back in it. Falcons, they know that, right? You're going to push up. You have that previous Shanghai Dragon champion. Champion. You're in a great spot here. He's probably been playing too much Marvel, right? Probably. Nice. Good job. 
job. He sang. He sang. He sang. Nice. Come on. Come on, the chat. This is the last fight. They. Oh shit. This might be GG's. Falcons. Look at look what Falcons have. Crazy, crazy raccoons. I, this might be a GG's chat. Oh, he got his ult canceled. GG's. That's GG's. I, he got his ult canceled by Fieldier. Oh my god. Look, they're so chill. Do you see the way they smile? They're just like, oh, it's another day in the office. Yeah, they don't even seem happy. Like, uh, NA teams would be jumping and hugging each other yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, I'm like, telling you, slapping their asses, making out. The coach would rip his shirt up. No, I'm just kidding. Now, they're I need so you to stop watching Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> they're so mellow. I bet their heart rate didn't Look, change. they're happy. That's Sir Majed. He's happier than all of them. And he didn't even get to play. Wait, what the fuck? Why didn't he play? Because the, obviously Coach Cresty's going to put in the best players. And Chiu and Fielder are like inseparable. Damn. Yeah, no Alari. They're happy. You're saying they're not happy. They're happy. I want to see what Crazy Raccoon looks like right now. J3, Emily wants to see <laughs> taking shirts off and jumping and doing clips. And Emily, the only person that Emily is going to see take shirt offs and do tricks and shit is going to be me. Definitely feels great. Uh, I want to thank all my uh, teammates for uh, supporting all my plays. I was able to do everything that I, I could do on stage because of my uh, teammates, and it just feels really great to win. Unbelievable stuff. Coach Krusty, I've been following your career for a very long time. You and I will go way back. How does it feel to lead this team as a coach Look at his to glass victory, skin. to glory, to be the first ever OWCS champions? First, it's like, it's really unbelie unbelievable. Like, we made this. I always say that we're going to make an anime. And actually, we literally like an anime. Amazing staff, amazing that's, players. That's, that we could make this. thing doesn't Thank look you, like it is heavy. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. Where's Chio at? Chio, come over here, my friend. You have kept this team alive. You know, Coach Krusty's gonna get wasted time tonight. Again, supporting them. He's so what happy. Does it now to be a world I don't know him. You, to have you this know him. With this Wait. Team. Oh, oh, that's right. You didn't party with us. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? Nah, you're good. You can go enjoy your party again. Hi, Gerald. Go, in, go enjoy your party again. <laughs> 저희 팀을 믿어야 될 입장이니까 힐러니까 힐러에서 믿어야 될 입장이고 자, you saw that, right? You saw that? 것이 꺾일 때도 있고 좀 이상한 데 흐를 때도 있지만 끝까지 저희 팀 믿고 하는 게 아무래도 가장 중요하고 Wrong man. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy, chat. No, it's cool. It's my job to support my team in and out of game, and it definitely feels great that all my hard work, along with my teammates, they really paid off at the end. 
Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. But there's still one more thing for us to do. And where is Stalker? Stalker, come on up, my friend, because you are the tournament MVP! I mean, yeah, he played really well. Stalker, my friend, what an unbelievable performance. What, what is your secret to success? What makes this Falcons team such a force? And is this just one of many championships? One more time. What does it mean to win with this team? And is this just one of many championships? The big winner is Emily, I'm sure. Go celebrate with your team. <laughs> What are we going to do after this? Uh -oh. Go to bed? Oh, I'm not tired. <laughs> go to the gym. Get some Sir Stroming. You're going to your party. We should, we should have some Sir Stroming before the party. Yeah. Yeah. Before the party? Yeah. We're not going to no party. Oh, you're going to no party. Yeah, see chat, you see that. You really think you know someone. You guys have the floor because this belongs to you. Your 2024 World Champions Team Falcon! You can see all the fireworks back there. That's crazy. Oh, I should get some footage for the vlog. Oh, hello. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> 